Farmer's Help Point. How can I help you? Hi. This is not just got rear-ended by some Yahoo. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. My car is a little busted up, though. No problem. We'll take care of it. How fast can Farmer's Help Point service get your car fixed after an accident? Well, you get the idea. Help Point is free with your policy. In Scone County, see Craig Allen, your Farmer's Insurance agent. A family tradition since 1920, Lay's Onana Furniture Company. More than 80 years ago, Arlie Lay began selling the area's finest furniture, all at a fair price. A generation later, the tradition continues. Lay's Onana Furniture Company sells furniture made by some of the nation's finest companies, including Lazy Boy, Kincaid, Temple, and Benchcraft. From formal to contemporary, Lay's Onana Furniture Company has a collection to suit your lifestyle at a price to fit your budget. A family tradition, Lay's Onana Furniture Company, down on Main Street, Oneida. The Oakdale Lady Eagles coming in tonight undefeated on this young season. They're 5-0 and as they are working under head coach Fred Snow. He's seen a lot of good teams, and he's beaten a lot of good teams, and he always has a good plan, and the Lady Eagles usually execute that plan pretty well. Obviously, they've done so for five games so far this year to perfection, exactly what he's wanted. The Oneida Lady Indians come in tonight with a record of 2-2. Two and two. Oneida is... 2-0 versus AAA teams, but they've yet to beat a team lower than that. They lost to Loudon by one point on Saturday at the Oliver Springs Thanksgiving Tournament. Of course, Donata lost also to the Clark Range Lady Buffaloes from single A. We're going to take a one-minute break for our sponsors, and when we come, come back, starting lineups and opening tip. One minute, Oneida basketball next. Pet care is in child's play. Proper care of your pet requires routine veterinary care. Highland Veterinary Hospital offers complete well and sick pet services. With in-house x-ray and lab facilities, Highland Veterinary Hospital can provide faster diagnosis, leading to quicker treatment and recovery. For larger animals, Highland Veterinary Hospital makes daily farm visits. Grooming available. Appointments recommended. To schedule a visit, call 286-9292. Highland Veterinary Hospital. Elizabeth K. Burris, veterinarian. Since 1966, Danny's Drugs has been serving the people of Scott County. Today, just like days gone by, Danny's Drugs' priority is prompt, accurate prescription filling. Danny's Drugs utilizes the ProScript Prescription Filling Station, an automated system that eliminates human error, guaranteeing you get the right drug every time. At Danny's Drugs, every prescription is filled, labeled, and personally checked. Internet, email, and drive through services available. Danny and Joe Cross, pharmacist. Danny's Drugs. The Oneida High School Pep Band and the National Anthem were just about set to go with starting lineups and opening tip from here at Oneida. Plenty of seats still available if you want to get down here. Medium-sized crowd, I'd say, from both Oakdale and Oneida thus far in the gym this evening. Boys game coming up a little bit later. The Oakdale Eagles have been playing very well for Coach Mike Barber. And the Oneida Indians will be looking for their second win of the season. Oneida 1-1 one and, one and Oakdale 2-1. But in this girls game, it will feature Coach Fred Snow's Lady Eagles undefeated thus far, 5-0. and oh. This will be their first district game here early in December. And the starters for the ladies in red uniforms with white numerals will be Whitney Snow at the point on the wing, Morgan Burge and Rachel Rupi, and in the post, Corin Peace and Shayna Odell. Odell, of course, an all-district performer from a year ago and a very powerful force on the inside for the Oakdale Lady Eagles with that 5-0 and oh record. And now the Oneida Lady Indians being introduced for Coach Marv West. His team comes in two and two. They have wins against the Powell Lady Panthers last Friday and also against the William Blunt Lady Governors to open the season. Oneida has losses here at home a week ago to the Clark Range Lady Buffaloes. And they also lost on Saturday 45-44 to the Loudoun Lady Redskins. Oneida's played only one single-A team thus far. Things didn't work out too good. That was a week ago. They'll hope to change that tonight. Oneida in the home white with Tennessee orange numerals trimmed in Lady of All Blue and the Lady Indians squaring off against the Oakdale Lady Eagles district foe. Oakdale expected to be one of the much improved teams. They returned most everybody from a year ago. Oneida, of course, comes in with an experienced squad as well. Six seniors for the ladies. Five of them will start. They're Melanie Phillips, Shanley Bond, Amanda Martin, Chelsea Sexton, and Brittany Chambers. 
At the tip, it will be Melanie Phillips and Shayna Odell. Onata moving left to right as you view your dial. Ball in the air. The tip is going to be controlled by the Lady Indians. Shanley Vaughn into front court, guarded by Corin Pease. And now it's going to be Chelsea Sexton. They're looking to trap Chelsea down in the right corner. As they do so, her pass is tipped and stolen away. Pease is going to get it away to Whitney Snow. Snow into front court with the pass over to Morgan Burge. Burge guarded here by Shanley Bond. Up close on her, and Burge, Burge turns it over. So it will be on out of basketball. Teams trade pair of turnovers to start things out here. Chelsea Sexton going to get trapped as she approaches midcourt. She sees it coming. She fires ahead to Melanie Phillips. Phillips takes a dribble back over to Sexton. Now to the right corner, Shanley Bond. Oakdale trying to trap. Now the pass across court to Amanda Martin for the jumper is good. Oneida throws across the pressure and gets a two-point jumper, and now they're going to jump into their own pressure. 2-0 Lady Indians. Oakdale setting screens to get the ball inbounds. It's lobbed to Whitney Snow. She's trapped. The ball is in the air. It's tipped away momentarily by Chelsea Sexton, picked up by Burge to Peace, ahead now to Rupi in the open court, trying to drive to the right baseline. She'll instead slow it up, give to Whitney Snow around to the left wing piece. For three, shot, rims out no good. Rebound battled for Burge and Sexton. Chelsea gets it ahead to Melanie Phillips, ahead to Amanda Martin. For the shot off the glass, no good. On the rebound, it's going to be Burge with it. 2 nothing Oneida. We've played one minute in the game, and this is going to be Rupi in front court on the right wing. Gives back to Snow. Working in the post right now, Odell working against Brittany Chambers. Chambers has found some foul trouble in a couple of games this year, and that's the games that Oneida was not able to get wins in. 6.30 to play, first quarter. Burge with the basketball. Gets a screen from Pease. Now picks it up. Now goes back to Pease. She drives the lane, lobs it up. Odell trying to tie it. Comes off the rim, no good. But Pease is there, backside rebound. Shot, no good. Rebound falls to the floor. Chelsea Sexton with it. Two opportunities for Oakdale and two layups missed there. And Oneida's into front court with Melanie Phillips into the lane. The short jumper bounces high. Comes off, no good. And the rebound is going to be Shayna Odell. 2-0 Oneida. We've played two minutes of the first quarter. Snow into front court. Odell, top of the key. Looks into the lane. Down there is Burge. And now Odell loses the basketball. It falls free, and it's going to be Rupi who comes up with it. She's guarded by Melanie Phillips. Rupi wants to drive into the lane, does so. Puts the shot, trying to put it up, and it's going to be blocked out of bounds by Amanda Martin. Oneida wants a quick timeout. 5.49 to play first quarter. Your score, Oneida 2, Oakdale 0. Through the years, Scott County and First Trust and Savings Bank have seen many changes. Back in 1923, when First Trust was incorporated, times were different, life a lot slower. Today, First Trust has grown to keep up with the pace of life, expanding its municipal drive location to better serve its customers, including adding more drive through lanes for faster service. Banking hours to fit your lifestyle. Full service banking at Walmart Supercenters in Jacksboro and Oneida. Loans, commercial and residential. 24-hour banking online. Come to First Trust. You'll like banking with us. Roarch's Health Mart Pharmacy takes the pain out of paying for your prescription medication. With Roarch's Pharmacy's one price prescription drug program, buy top generic prescriptions in quantities from 1 to 400 tablets, all at one price. Designed to combat rising medication costs and to fill the void left by TenCare, Roarch's one price prescription drug program may be your answer. Confused about your TenCare or Medicare coverage changes? Ask Terry or Mary Ann Roark, the pharmacist at Roarch's Health Mart Pharmacy, down from the hospital in Oneida. Welcome back to Oneida. Oakdale to work it in under their basket. Morgan Burge to bring it in bounce. Out of an Oneida 30-second timeout. Burge looking, looking, lobs it up, and it's going to be Peace who comes up with it. Peace working to her right, trying to get around Martin, driving down, loses the handle on it. Now looking for someone to pass it to. Gets the bounce feed over to Burge. Burge going to kick it out. Here's a jumper from Snow to tie it. Good. Whitney Snow knocks down the two. And it's going to be Oneida basketball. Sexton, long down court. She finds Chambers. Takes a dribble. Nice ball fake. Lays it off the glass. Good. Nice job by Brittany Chambers getting Odell out of the way defensively and taking the lead back 4-2. Oakdale lobs it in, and we have a pushing call against the Lady Indians here. That's going to be the first team foul on Oneida. It will be against Amanda Martin. And Oakdale will again bring it in under their basket. 5.20 to play first quarter. Oneida 4, Oakdale 2. Burge looking to work it in, lobs it up for Peace. Peace then lobs it over for Snow. Snow into front court, finds Rupi on the right wing, goes with the ball fake, drives in, tries to dump it off to Burge, trying to make the catch. She's going to throw it away, and it's going to be Chelsea Sexton who has the ball tied up by Shayna Odell. The possession arrow will give it to Oakdale. The Lady Eagles will bring it in under their basket. Morgan Burge. Burge looking. 
Fires in here for Rupi. Tied up. Kicks it out. Burge now driving into the lane. Gets it away to Whitney Snow. Back over to Burge. There's Odell posting. Can't get it into her. We have a hold in the post. Going to go against Brittany Chambers defensively trying to keep Odell in check. So that's the second team foul on Oneida. First on Brittany Chambers. We've played three minutes. The score is Oneida 4, Oakdale 2. Rupi, ball fake, nice job driving to the basket, and then nice job by Amanda Martin to strip the ball away. She gives it away to Shanley Bond into front court. This is Melanie Phillips, looks over to the left corner. Chelsea Sexton wants to drive baseline on Pease. Bounce feed over to Amanda Martin. Now Bond around to Phillips. A lot of crowding down around Brittany Chambers. Now they're going to lob it down. Brittany makes a nice catch, dribbles, lays it off the glass. Good. Oneida inside to Brittany Chambers for the last four points, and it's a 6-2 lead for the Lady Indians. Down court, this is going to be Whitney Snow driving all the way under. Shot is up and no good. Odell for the rebound. It's going to be loose, knocked loose by Chambers, and a jump ball will ensue, and the possession arrow is going to give it to Oneida. Brittany Chambers will exit after getting the quick four points. She does have a foul. 4.23 to play in the first quarter. Nicolia Lay into the game. Kaylee Terry is in. Kelsey Lay is in. Chelsea Sex and Amanda Martin are also resting. Here is Kelsey Lay in the corner, spinning, kicks it out. Melanie Phillips drives into the lane, draws a crowd, puts the jumper up, banks off the glass. Good. Phillips with two. Oneida leads eight to two. We played half of the first quarter. Whitney Snow with the basketball, working up near midcourt, lobs it ahead, and it's going to be a foul by Kaylee Terry as she tried to poke it away from Rachel Rupi. That for Kaylee will be her first, team's third. Four minutes exactly to go, first quarter. And Oneida 8, Oakdale 2. The lob in bounce, Whitney Snow with the basketball, guarded here by Nicolia Leia. As Nicolia tried to poke it away, she's going to be called for the foul. That'll be her first, team's fourth. Fouls mounting on Oneida. Burge will bring it in bounds now to Whitney Snow. Snow working with the basketball, pass to the right wing piece. Guarded here by Kelsey Lay. Drives to the baseline, all the way under. The layup is going to be good. Nice move to the basket for Pease to cut the game, cut the score in half. And this is going to be Onada working quickly back down court. Melanie Phillips to the trailing Shanley Bond to Kelsey Lay. To the right side, Nicolia Lay. Looks back out high to Bond. And now Melanie Phillips takes a dribble, leaves it off right side. Lay. Thought about going inside. Nothing there. Instead goes back around to Bond and to Phillips. Top of the key. She'll look in the lane. It's Kaylee Terry for the kick out to Kelsey Lay. For three, good. Kelsey Lay knocks down the three-pointer. And Onada leads 11-4. to four. The inside out. And here is going to be Whitney Snow picking it up in rear court. Pass comes over to Morgan Burge. Down ahead to Corin Pease. Pease wants to work it into Odell. Terry is fronting her here. And Burge is going to drive down. Tries to lob it into Odell. And it's off her hand out of bounds. Good defense by Kaylee Terry. Chelsea Sexton and Amanda Martin return. And Shanley Vaughn and Melanie Phillips will get the rest. 3.06 to play first quarter. Oneida 11, Oakdale 4. Chelsea Sexton. Into front court, up the left side. Pass comes over to Nicolia Lay. Now Kelsey Lay around to Kaylee Terry on the right wing. Eyes the cutters in the lane. And now Kaylee is going to hit Kelsey. Now to Amanda Martin in the left corner. Eyes the action. Goes to Nicolia Lay. And now Chelsea Sexton with it on the right wing. Bounce feed comes over Kaylee Terry. Nice ball fake. Gives over to Nicolia Lay. And now Amanda Martin posting out top. Leaves it off with Kelsey Lay. Kaylee Terry, Onada very patient here, working with the basketball, setting screens, and now it's going to be Chelsea Sexton driving to the baseline, and we have a foul. Going to be the first against Oakdale, and this will go against Rachel Rupi, her first, team first. Onada will bring it in under their basket, leading 11-4 to here in the first quarter. Amanda Martin to Chelsea Sexton, trying to get Kelsey Lay open for a three from the right side. It's up. It's good. Kelsey Lay has come into the game. Ready to go with these three-pointers. A pair of them, and Onada leads by 10. 14-4 is the score. Morgan Burge in rear court. Fires ahead to Whitney Snow, and she travels. Why? Chelsea Sexton was there defensively with the pressure. Nice job by Chelsea. Amelia Comer will come into the game for Oakdale now. And it will be Morgan Burge getting a rest. First sub for Coach Fred Snow. 2.09 to play in the first quarter. Onada 14, Oakdale 4. And this is going to be Chelsea Sexton. Front court pass, right wing, Amanda Martin. Wide open, look at the three. The shot, halfway down and back out. Comer with the rebound. Leaves it over with Peace. Inside two minutes, first quarter, Oneida 14, Oakdale 4. Here's Peace driving into the lane. Nice running jumper. Leaves it up there good. 
Beast with the last four points for the Lady Eagles and cuts the Onada lead down 14 to six. Quickly the other way, Onada with the bounce feed into Kaylee Terry and nice look and then Kaylee is fouled from behind. Shayna Odell will pick up her first, team second. Onada will bring it in under their basket. Chelsea Sexton to Amanda Martin. Martin with the bounce feed over to Nicolia Lay. Lay to Kelsey Lay. Now back out to Amanda Martin. A little crossover, and Amanda leaves it with Kelsey. Steps left, picks it up, goes back to Martin. Bounce feed down. Terry spins, gets it tied up nearly. Now tries to tip it out and does save it to Amanda Martin, who tries the baseline, and she's going to be fouled on a block. Whitney Snow with the hip check. Her first foul, team third. Lindsey Horton going to check in now for the Lady Eagles. And for Onada, Brittany Chambers, Melanie Phillips, and Shanley Bond return as Kelsey Lay and Kaylee Terry and Nicolia Lay. Nice minutes for the Lady Indians, expanding the lead. It's 14 to 6. The inbounds for Onada is to Amanda Martin. Bounce feed low. Chambers going to leave it back out. Chelsea Sexton for the three. Banking good. Chelsea Sexton banks in Onada's third three of the game. And the Lady Indians lead by 11, 17 to 6. In rear court, Snow picks it up, lobs it over to Corin Peace. Peace going to bring it into front court, wants to take it in, spinning in the lane. Shot is up and no good. Rebound battled for, batted out of bounds, touched last by Brittany Chambers. 104 to go first quarter, Onada 17, Oakdale 6. Lady Eagles to bring it in under their basket, Amelia Comer. Sets the play in motion, looking, lobs it up. Odell has it pawed away by Brittany Chambers, but they're going to say Odell touched it last, and it will go over to Oneida. 102 to play first quarter. Oneida 17, Oakdale 6. Chelsea Sexton's going to bring it into front court for the Lady Indians with under a minute to go. Sexton working right. Now back to her left. Leaves it over with Melanie Phillips on the left wing. Now to Shanley Bond. Thought about the three. Instead, drives in. Two is short. Rebound is Corey Peace. 40 seconds to play. Peace into front court. And wants to lob it down and does so for Odell. Odell takes a dribble, puts the shot up. No good. The follow by Comer. Nice box out. Couldn't get the shot to go. Horton with the follow. No good. But the foul, I believe Chelsea Sexton will pick up her first team fifth. So for the Lady Indians, five team fouls, but they're all spaced. Nobody with more than one. Lindsey Horton will go to the free throw line to shoot two with 32 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Onata leads 17 to six. Horton looking to cut it to 10. The free throw is good. End of the game. Returning to the game for Oakdale, Rachel Rupi, Shayna Odell is going to rest the remainder of this first quarter, it would appear. Corin Pease also will exit. Whitney Snow's back in. Or Morgan Burge, I'm sorry, is back in. Lindsey Horton for the second free throw. It's short. Rebound. Comer has it. And spinning. It's going to be taken away from her by Shanley Bond. Into front court, Chelsea Sexton. Back to Bond. Around to Phillips. And now to Martin on the left wing. 20 seconds remaining. First quarter, Phillips launches the three. Shot is no good. And the rebound comes off long into the far corner. And it will go over to Oakdale. 17-7 Oneida with 17 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Morgan Burge lobs it up to Rupi. Back to Burge. Quickly ahead to Snow. Down court. She hits Horton. Horton driving to the baseline. Good hustle. Melanie Phillips getting back down court defensively. And now Rupi will drive in and have the ball stripped away by Amanda Martin. And then... Martin is going to be called for the travel. Three seconds to go first quarter. It will be Oakdale basketball in front court. Morgan Burge lobs it in. Rupi. Rupi driving baseline. Puts the shot up. No good. And that is the end of the first quarter. But it's going to be a foul at the end of the first quarter. Amanda Martin second. That will be the team sixth. So Oakdale will shoot free throws. Remainder of the first half. And Lindsey Horton stands in for two tosses right here. 17-7 the score. Horton with the first free throw. It's on the way and good. And after the next free throw, we'll take the break, telling you the score at the end of the first quarter. Horton, the free throw, and the end of the first quarter, your score, as she misses it, is Oneida 17 and Oakdale 8. If your idea of fun begins where the blacktop ends, then Thompson Tomahawk, Kawasaki, and Suzuki has an all-terrain vehicle or motorcycle for you. With two seats, the Rhino can get you, a friend, and your gear practically anywhere worth going. 
From the Kawasaki Brute Force to the Yamaha Grizzly, Thompson's has plenty of four-wheel muscle. If you prefer just two wheels, then see Thompson's full line of off-road and motocross bikes. Hit the streets on a custom classic cruiser. Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki. Huntsville. Loss or lack of prescription drug coverage can be a bitter pill to swallow. Mark's Family Pharmacy is helping ease the burden of buying prescription medications with its discount prescription plan. Over 200 popular generic drugs all at one low discount price. Come in today and discuss your options. Mark's Family Pharmacy is more than just a drugstore, offering a variety of over-the-counter medications, health and beauty aids, and home products, including an aisle of dollar items. Mark's Family Pharmacy, Underpass Drive. Call 569-7800. Lindsey Horton, Rachel Rupi, Morgan Burge, and Whitney Snow. For Oneida in the second, it'll be Brittany Chambers, Melanie Phillips, Shanley Bond, Nicolia Lay, and Chelsea Sexton. Amanda Martin picked up her second foul in the closing moments of the first quarter, and it was Lindsey Horton knocking down one of two free throws there to cut the Oneida lead to single digits. And here's Whitney Snow putting up a three that rattles no good. Horton with the follow, and she's going to be fouled, and that's the second on Brittany Chambers. Horton finding the basketball and finding the free throw line, doing a nice job for the Lady Eagles. Chambers with her second foul. 7.45 to play in the first half. Oneida 17, Oakdale 8, but here's Lindsey Horton with the first of two. Good. Her pattern thus far has been to hit the first one and miss the second one. We'll see if that holds true as Kaylee Terry checks in for Brittany Chambers, who has those two fouls. Eight-point game, 7.45 to play first half. Second toss from Lindsey Horton is no good. The rebound battled for, tipped to the floor, and it's going to be Horton who comes up with it on the right wing. Back over to Rachel Rupi. Rupi drives in, now looking to shoot it and traveled with it. So a turnover for Oakdale. 17-9, Oneida by eight with seven and a half to play in the first half. Chelsea Sexton will bring it into front court. Going to be met here by Whitney Snow. Pass comes over to Kaylee Terry on the right wing. Terry looks to Shanley Bond. She's freed from the top of the key. Launches the three. Good. Onada with four three-pointers tonight. That's Shanley's first points of the game. And Onada back up by 11. 20-9 to nine with 7.15 to play first half. Here's Whitney Snow working to her left. Picks up the ball. Looks for help. Gets to Lindsey Horton. Horton working right. Now goes to Rachel Rupi. Rupi with the basketball, top of the key, spinning, wanting to work in. Little hesitation move. Nice job by Rupi, driving to the basket, laying it up and in good. She has her first points of the game. Onada quickly the other way. Nicolia Lay can't make the catch of Phillips' pass. It's going to be a turnover. And for Onada, Kelsey Lay checks into the game for Chelsea Sexton. 6.51 to go first half. Onada by nine. 22-11 is your score. And it will be Whitney Snow into front court. Into a trap, lobs it up for Rupi. Rupi loses the handle on the basketball. Melanie Phillips comes up with it, and Phillips will retrieve the basketball and bring it across midcourt herself. Phillips driving in, leaves it off with Shanley Bond, driving into the lane, out to Nicolia Lay. She's open. The three is good. Onada warm from behind the arc tonight, 23-11. to 11. Onada by 12 with 6.20 to play in the first half. Down court, Whitney Snow with the basketball, picks it up. Looking, pass tipped by Nicolia Lay, Shanley Bond. Ahead to Nicolia Lay, all the way to the basket. Shot no good, and she's going to be fouled by Morgan Burge. Burge will pick up her first, team's fourth. And Nicolia Lay will go to the free throw line for two tosses. Lay with three points in the game. Onata with a 23-11 lead. 6-12 to play in the first half. Nicolia for the free throw that is no good. That was the first foul on Morgan Burge, fourth team foul. Corey Peace will check in for Whitney Snow. Lay with a second free throw opportunity here. This is Onata's first appearance at the line here. Comes with 6-12 remaining in the first half. Second toss from Nicolia. Good. Four points. For Nicolia, and with six minutes to play in the first half, it's 24 to 11. Oneida by 13. Corin Pease driving down court, picks it up, looks back out to Rupi. Rupi driving in, scoops the shot up there, no good. Rebound nicely handled by Shanley Bond. Bond ahead to Melanie Phillips. Phillips slows, spins, now needs help, looking, and she charged. Uh, the official right on top of it as she was trying to clear space from Rupi, who was up on her defensively. Melanie picks up her first foul as she rammed the shoulder to try to clear that space. 
That'll be the eighth team foul on Onada. 5.50 to play first half. 24 to 11 the score piece with the basketball. Onada trapping her, and now Rupi is going to be called for a charge as Shanley Bond sneaks in, and Rupi, who started forward without knowing where Bond was, charged into her, picks up her second foul. 5.45 to play in the first half. 24 to 11. Onada by 13. With the basketball of the Lady Indians, Nicolia Lay looks to Shanley Bond. Bond eyes the cutters in the lane. Now leaves it off with Kaylee Terry to the left wing. Kelsey Lay. Now Melanie Phillips, top of the key. Around to Lay. Now looking down to Kelsey Lay for the left. Good. Nice job of running the offense for the Lady Indians. And Kelsey Lay sparking Onada tonight from the bench. Eight points for her in the game. Onada leads 26 to 11. And here's Core in peace. Driving down court, and she traveled with it. Had a little no call as she made contact with Nicolia Lay. Could have really gone either way, uh, but a, no call was made, block or charge. And then as Peace made it down closer toward the basket, she took steps and turned it over. Onada leads 26 to 11. 5 10 to play. First half. Kelsey Lay with the basketball. Her pass deflected. Nicolia Lay picks it up. Now she's trapped. Bounce feed back ahead to Kelsey Lay. Lay takes a dribble. Looking for help goes to Shanley Bond. Inside five minutes to go first half. Onada 26, Oakdale 11. Chelsea Sexton around to Kelsey Lay. Lay with the bounce feed to Nicolia Lay. And now it's going to be Chelsea Sexton wanting to drive baseline. Does. Gets under against Snow. Lays it off the glass. Good. Something that Chelsea has done very nicely in the first four games this year. Taking it to the basket. And she does it once again. Onada's biggest lead of the game is 17 now. And Whitney Snow throws it away. Shanley Bond going to bring it all the way to the other end. And was she fouled on the floor or was she shooting will be the only question as Whitney Snow picks up her second foul after she turned it over. And it's going to be two shots for Shanley Bond. I thought. Yes, the official holding up the signal. And that is a fortunate call for the Lady Indians. 28 to 11, Onada leads by 17. Shanley Bond will have two free throws with 4.30 to play in the first half. The toss, good. Four points for Shanley Bond. Fancy Gibson making her first appearance now for Oakdale. Whitney Snow is exiting. It's an 18-point lead for Onada, and the second toss from Shanley Bond is on the way. No good, the rebound, Gibson. Comes into the game and finds that basketball. She'll bring it into front court, guarded here by Chelsea Sexton. Spinning, picks it up, lobs it for a court and piece. Peace gets past Lay into the lane. The ball is knocked free. Loose basketball still. Chelsea Sexton, I'm sorry, Kelsey Lay trying to save it away. And then it's going to be a jump ball. And Oneida has the possession arrow. 4-12 to play first half. Oneida 29, Oakdale 11. Melanie Phillips returns to action. Nicolia Lay will exit. Chelsea Sexton's going to bring it into front court for the Lady Indians. Sexton looks over to the left wing. Kelsey Lay, now Melanie Phillips. Took a stab at the baseline, faked a stab at it anyway. Bounce feed low, Kaylee Terry turning for the shot, no good, and it's going to be the second foul against Shayna Odell. Odell might be a little bit frustrated. She's been held scoreless in the first half. That's her second foul. It's going to put Kaylee Terry at the free throw line for two tosses. And Onada leads by 18, now 19, as Kaylee knocks down the first of two. Kaylee can make this a 20-point game with 3.58 to play in the first half. The toss, no good. Rebound comes off long, and Shanley Bond chases it down. Looking for passing lane, finds Melanie Phillips. Over to Kelsey Lay. Back to Melanie, top of the key. Driving in, leaves it down with Terry. Back out to Kelsey Lay. The three, this time, is long. The rebound is going to be core in peace. Peace is going to bring it up court for the Lady Eagles. 19-point game, Peace looking for a chance to attack. Going to step back and take a three that is no good. Odell tries to save it in, and it goes right to Shanley Bond, and then Bond being deed up by Morgan Burge trying to clear space is going to be called for her first foul as she used that shoulder to try to clear some space. We've seen that twice. They're both good calls against the Lady Indians. They did it. 3.33 to go first half. 19-point game. The inbounds, Rachel Rupi with it. Rupi. I'll tell you what, Kaylee Terry and Shayna Odell working hard down there in the post. Might have a call here in a minute one way or the other there. Gibson driving in. Her pass tipped away. Nice hands by Melanie Phillips, and now she's going to bring it ahead with the bounce feed to Chelsea Sexton. And as she did so, 
Uh, they're going to call Chelsea with the travel. Coach West would have preferred Melanie Phillips take that on herself. She was leading the pack. But it will be a turnover for Oneida. 3.15 to go first half. 32-11, Lady Indians by 19. Gibson will bring it across midcourt, getting a pick from Rupi. Then she's going to be trapped, and she's going to be blocked and fouled by Melanie Phillips. That's her second. And that will put Gibson at the free throw line. That's Oneida's ninth team foul. Gibson will shoot the front end of one and one. 3.08 to play in the first half. Brittany Chambers will return to the lineup. She has two fouls. Kaylee Terry will exit. Gibson steps in for the front end of one and one. And the toss is good. Oh, nine, or Oakdale, sorry, four of seven from the line. The second toss from Gibson is on the way. This one, good as well. 30 to 13, Oneida by 17 with three minutes to play first half. Phillips finds herself open, takes a step forward to find a closer shot and some open space and knocks it down. And again, Coach West probably pleased with that decision. Melanie could have put it up from three, but she got close range and knocks down the two. And here's Rupi at the other end, scooping the shot up no good. Rebound tipped, kept alive. Melanie Phillips has it. Phillips spinning, now looking forward, slows, hits the cutting. Brittany Chambers for the layup that won't go, but Chambers is there to get it, put it back up good, and she scores, and she's fouled. Nice work by Brittany Chambers. I don't know how she got back in to get position to get that rebound but she gets the two, and the foul is going to be against who? The toss no good, free throw is no good, and it's going to be Oakdale back into front court. Fancy Gibson was charged with that foul. Oakdale's eighth as a team. Oneida by 21, biggest lead of the game. Here's Rupi down court. Rupi driving all the way in, shot no good. Might have been partially deflected by Brittany Chambers. Loose basketball, Chelsea Sexton gonna slow it up for the Lady Indians. Oneida by 21, now into front court, Amanda Martin. Left baseline jumper is no good. And we have a elbow of frustration from who? Oakdale's Shayna Odell. I told you she might be getting frustrated. She's been held scoreless in the first half. She picks up her third. And that is the ninth team foul for Oakdale. And she fouled Brittany Chambers, trying to clear space with the elbow. And so Odell will go to the bench with three fouls. No points. Frustrating half for her. Brittany Chambers steps in to shoot the front end of one and one. Brittany's toss is no good. Rebound battled for. And it's going to be loose. Amelia Comer clears it away. Nice job by Comer. She had Martin and Lay both fighting her for possession of that. Now down court, Fancy Gibson turns it over with 2.02 to play in the first half. Oneida 34, Oakdale 13. Chelsea Lay will bring it in to Chelsea Sexton. Oneida with the 21 point edge, and Sexton will walk it across midcourt for the Lady Indians. She's picked up by Fancy Gibson. Looking to get some time run down here or an easy shot. Martin gets it back out to Chelsea Sexton. Sexton hands it off to Melanie Phillips. She drives in, leaves it with Kelsey Lay. Bounce feed, Chambers back out to Phillips for the three. Shot no good. Martin tries to keep the rebound alive, but Fancy Gibson's there to get it. Oneida with the inside out that time. The shot didn't fall. And with a minute 30 to play in the first half, Oneida by 21. Here's Morgan Burge with the basketball, working to her left. Bounce feed, leading Comer to the bucket. It was... Then Comer turning for the shot. Melanie Phillips comes through with the block that turns into a jump ball. Nice job by Melanie, and it's going to be a possession arrow favoring Oakdale. Oneida will get Kaylee Terry into the game, wanting to preserve Brittany Chambers. She's got those two fouls, don't want to get any more. And the inbounds will be to Rachel Rupi. Rupi spinning, forces a shot up there, no good. Rebound is going to be Shanley Bond. Bond ahead to Kelsey Lay. Lay. Feels the heat from behind. Rupi knocks it away, and now Peace has it into front court. Spinning, stopping, shooting. Peace's shot no good. Rebound tipped high, battled. Shanley Bond. If she can get her hands on it, she does a very nice job of securing the basketball. Ahead Oneida to Kelsey Lay, back to Chelsea Sexton, and now Shanley Bond. She'll try the three. Good. Shanley, her second three-pointer in the first half, and Oneida, big, less than a minute to play in the first half, 37-13. Previously unbeaten Oakdale struggling here in the Lady Indians gym as Corey and Peace 
Spinning down court, finds a way to get that shot off, and it goes. Nice job creation by Corin Peace. she got six points in the first half. Onada quickly the other way. Phillips to Shanley Vaughn. 30 seconds remain. Onada 37, Oakdale 15. And this is Melanie Phillips. Looking for someone to pass to. Gets it to Kaylee Terry. Terry back to Phillips. 17, 16, 15 seconds. Phillips working out top. And this is Oneida's play to work the clock down. They get it to nine seconds. Kelsey Lay with it. Eight, seven, six seconds. Bond, a long three is good. And she was fouled with 4.4 seconds remaining in this first half. Shanley Bond knocks home the three. And the foul is against Rachel Rupi, her third. So a pair of starters for Oakdale will go to the locker room with three fouls at the half. And Oneida, Chelsea Sexton, I'm sorry, she wasn't fouled on the shot. Shanley's shot counted, and then Chelsea was fouled, and she'll get two free throws. So the foul was away from the shot. Oneida by 25, 40 to 15. Second toss from Chelsea Sexton is no good. Rebound tipped. Corin Pease with three seconds, two seconds, one second. She'll fire a long three. No good. Hits the front of the iron. And that's the end of the first half. Your score, a dominating Lady Indians, 40. The Oakdale Lady Eagles, 15. If you're shopping for new furniture and appliances, we invite you to stop by Markham's Furniture and Appliance, Scott County's largest furniture and appliance store. Sit down, lean back, and recline your troubles away in the Berkline Furniture Gallery at Markham's Furniture and Appliance. With over 2,000 square feet of quality crafted motion furniture, Markham's Furniture has something for every decor, style, and comfort. Recliner starting at only $299.95. Rocker recliner with matching sofa with incliner starting at $1199.95. Markham's Furniture and Appliance, 211 Depot Street, Oneida. Armor's Hell Point, how can I help you? We've had a fire in our home. They're on their way. Farmer's Help Point service starts getting things back to normal the moment you call. And it's free with your policy. In Scott County, see Craig Allen, your farmer's insurance agent. Showing them the way right now at halftime, up 25, 40 15. The Lady Indians lead. The scoring first for the visiting Lady Eagles. They're led by Corbin Peace. She has six of their points. They've hit five shots from the field. They're five of eight from the free throw line. She's followed by Lindsey Horton, three points. And she's three of six from the line. And then it's two points each for Whitney Snow, Rachel Rupi, and Fancy Gibson. The Lady Eagles in that first half. As I mentioned, five of eight from the line, 15 points at the half. Uh, perhaps overshadowed in this so far is the excellence of the Lady Indians' defense throughout that first half, limiting Oakdale's points from the field. Now for Oneida, the scoring, and they are led at the half by Shanley Bond. She has three threes. She's one of two from the free throw line, 10 points at the half. Kelsey Lay, nice spark off the bench for the Lady Indians, eight points, a pair of threes here at the half. It's going to be five points for Chelsea Sexton. I skip Brittany Chambers. She's got six points. It's four points for Melanie Phillips, four points for Nicolia Lay, two points for Amanda Martin, and a point for Kaylee Terry. The Lady Indians got to the free throw line in that first half ten times, and very uncharacteristic of the Lady Indians, they were three of ten from the free throw line. But they have the 25-point edge here at the half. We'll take the break with your score. Oneida, 40, Oakdale, 15. A family tradition since 1920. Lay's Onana Furniture Company. More than 80 years ago, Arlie Lay began selling the area's finest furniture, all at a fair price. A generation later, the tradition continues. Lay's Onana Furniture Company sells furniture made by some of the nation's finest companies, including Lazy Boy, Kincaid, Temple, and Benchcraft. From formal to contemporary, Lay's Onana Furniture Company has a collection to suit your lifestyle at a price to fit your budget. 
a family tradition. Lay's Oneida Furniture Company, down on Main Street, Oneida. Through the years, Scott County and First Trust and Savings Bank have seen many changes. Back in 1923, when First Trust was incorporated, times were different, life a lot slower. Today, First Trust has grown to keep up with the pace of life, expanding its municipal drive location to better serve its customers, including adding more drive through lanes for faster service. Banking hours to fit your lifestyle. Full service banking at Walmart Super Centers in Jacksboro and Oneida. Loans, commercial and residential. 24-hour bank Online. Come to First Trust. You'll like banking with us. And the Oneida Lady Indians working pretty well, too. They're up 40-15. We want to thank our sponsors of basketball on WBNT. Hometown Furniture, Roark's Pharmacy, Miller & Son Concrete and Paving, El Rey Restaurante Mexicano, B&B Roofing and Metals, McDonald's of Oneida, Ayers Auction and Realty, and Mark's Family Pharmacy. We appreciate their sponsorship of Oneida Basketball on WBNT-FM. Set for the start of the second half, and the Lady Indians with a 25-point edge, and again, perhaps the story I didn't emphasize enough throughout the first half was the defensive job the Lady Indians did, holding Oakdale to just 15 points. Oakdale came in with a 5-0 record. Oneida came in 2-2, two two, but the Lady Indians have a good edge here to start the second half, and the second half will start with Oneida possessing the basketball for Oakdale. Whitney Snow, Corey in peace. Here's Brittany Chambers with a lay-in to start things off, and Oneida's lead expands. Shayna O'Dell, Whitney Snow, Corey in peace, Morgan Burge, and Rachel Rupi. And now a nice backdoor cut by Burge. Nice play by the Lady Eagles to get Burge her first points. And now Oakdale's going to pressure Oneida full court here. Chelsea Sexton with the basketball, picks it up, looking ahead, hits Shanley Bond, ahead to Amanda Martin. Martin driving in, stops, shoots, and scores. Odell between her and the basket. Odell's got three fouls, Rachel Rupi three, so they can't be very aggressive defensively, it would seem, but they're in pressure. So 44-17, Oneida in the lead, 7-10 to play third quarter. For Oneida, by the way, Melanie Phillips, Amanda Martin, Shanley Bond, Brittany Chambers, and Chelsea Sexton. And here's Whitney Snow, a three up from the left corner that is no good, and a nice box out by Amanda Martin. She'll bring the ball into front court for the Lady Indians. Pushing, and now stops, bounce feet ahead, Brittany Chambers, the lay-in good. Ten points for Brittany, and Oneida leads by 29. Quickly down court the other way, though, is Oakdale. Rupi wants to go to the baseline on Phillips. Spins back in toward the lane, kicks it out. Burge thought about that long three. Now drives the lane, loses the handle on it, and now Odell is going to put the shot up no good. Rebound tipped alive by Morgan Burge. It's going to be Amanda Martin with it. Martin racing into front court, wants to get it down to Chambers. Can't bounce feed to Melanie Phillips. Nice pass to the left corner. Chelsea Sexton, the three, is going to be no good. Rebound is going to be Shayna Odell. 29-point game, 46-17. Oneida leading, 6-18 to play third quarter, and this is Rupi into front court, and a timeout asked for by Oakdale. We'll take the same. 6-15 to play in the third. It's Oneida 46, Oakdale 17. Since 1966, Danny's Drugs has been serving the people of Scott County. Today, just like days gone by, Danny's Drugs' priority is prompt, accurate prescription filling. Danny's Drugs utilizes the ProScript Prescription Filling Station, an automated system that eliminates human error, guaranteeing you get the right drug every time. At Danny's Drugs, every prescription is filled, labeled, and personally checked. Internet, email, and drive through services available. Danny and Joe Cross, pharmacist. Danny's Drugs. If your idea of fun begins where the blacktop ends, then Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki has an all-terrain vehicle or motorcycle for you. With two seats, the Rhino can get you, a friend, and your gear practically anywhere worth going. From the Kawasaki Brute Force to the Yamaha Grizzly, Thompson's has plenty of four-wheel muscle. If you prefer just two wheels, then see Thompson's full line of off-road and motocross bikes. Hit the streets on a custom classic cruiser. Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki, Huntsville. Back to action out of an Oakdale timeout. And this is going to be Rupi with the basketball on the left wing. Ball fake, drives into the lane. Pass comes over Corin Pease. Not going to take the three, drives in for the two. Banking shot, no good. Rebound collected by Brittany Chambers. Over to Chelsea Sexton. Sexton into the front court for the Lady Indians. Onada leads by 29. 46-17 is your score. And this is Melanie Phillips looking to Brittany Chambers. Comes open at the right elbow. The jumper glances the rim and rolls gently around. Good. Chambers with 12.6 here in this early going of the third quarter. 48-17, Oneida by 31. 
Rupi with the basketball, lobs it down, and Chambers goes airborne as the lob pass comes in for Shayna Odell, and it's going to be called for the foul. That's Brittany's third, team's first to the second half. Burge will work it inbounds under the Oakdale basket, lobbing it up. Rupi makes the catch over in the left corner, and then she tries to clear space against Melanie Phillips with the elbow, and that is Rachel Rupi's fourth. 48-17, Oneida by 21, and now, or sorry, 31, Oneida into front court, Sexton, bounce feed, Brittany Chambers, the jumper won't go, rebound is Shayna Odell. Odell will get it over to Whitney Snow. Snow into front court, Odell top of the key. Odell gives it up now to court in peace. Peace, looking, lobbing it up, Rupi with it, guarded by Melanie Phillips. We've seen Phillips frustrate a few people this year. Rupi looks a little bit frustrated. She has four fouls. Odell trying the shot, no good. She's a little frustrated. She's got three fouls. Good defense there by Brittany Chambers. Oneida by 31, 48, 17. Then the feed down low. Chambers, ball fake, trying to go up with it. And just uh, kind of tried, kind of expected the call there. And uh, there was no contact, no reason to make a call there. Lost it out of bounds. And it's going to be a turnover. Goes over to Oakdale, 4:43 to go third quarter. It will be Oakdale basketball. Whitney Snow in the front court, picked up here by Chelsea Sexton, now picks up the dribble, now needs help. Nobody coming open and they're gonna say Snow traveled with it. 4.33 to go third quarter, Oneida by 31, 48-17, and now the inbounds is to Amanda Martin. Martin fires long down court, Brittany Chambers makes the catch, the shot, no good, and again, maybe Chambers looking for a call and didn't get it. And it's going to be Oakdale back into front court. Now with the basketball, Lindsey Horton trying to set the screen for Morgan Burge. Now Horton picks it up and goes out to court and Pease. Pease guarded here by Chelsea Sexton, dribbling to her right, gets a pick, tries to take it all the way down. Sexton reaches in finally there and commits her second foul. It's gonna be the second team foul on Oneida. Was it the act of shooting? Ruled no on the floor. Kaylee Terry, Kelsey Lay check into the game. Brittany Chambers and Shanley Bond will exit. Amelia Comer is into the game now for Rachel Rupi. She has to sit. She's got those four fouls. And it's going to be Morgan Burge to work it in bounce. Finds Whitney Snow. Now out to court and Pease. Pease working left, spinning, looking back right. Puts the shot up no good, and it's going to fall to the baseline and out of bounds. Oakdale will continue full court pressure against the Lady Indians here, and Kelsey Lay looking to bring it in bounds. Still looking, bounce feed, Chelsea Sexton makes the catch. Ahead she goes, Melanie Phillips. Phillips in a three on two break, pulls up for the jumper. Shot no good, rebound core and Pease. Pease gonna bring it the other way, now has it on the right wing. Leaves it over with Morgan Burge, guarded by Kelsey Lay. Burge started left, now back right, worming her way down into the lane, turns for the shot, banking it in, good. Good persistence and a nice job by Morgan Burge getting that shot to fall. And now here's Amanda Martin with the elbow lead, knocking down Lindsey Horton. That will be Amanda Martin's third foul, team's third. Trying to clear space in the Oakdale pressure up that right side. Amanda just led with her elbow. We've seen a lot of young ladies unapologetically doing that for both sides tonight. 48-19 is your score. Oneida by 29, Burge pops open down low, turns for the shot, good. Morgan Burge, a very fine quarter right here for her. She's got all six of Oakdale's points here in the third. Now Oneida with a three on two break. Martin goes ahead to Phillips. Phillips is driving for the layup off the glass, good, and a nice job by Kaylee Terry to seal a defender so that Melanie could arrive at the basket untouched for the lay-in. 29 point game, Oneida 50. Oakdale 21, 2.50 to play third quarter. And here is going to be Burge, bounce feed to Pease. Pease, now it's gonna be fouled on a grab by Kaylee Terry, her second, team's fourth. 2.46 to play third quarter. Oakdale will bring it in under their basket. Rachel Rupi returns, she's got four fouls. Corin Pease will exit. 409 and Nicolia Lay into the game. Shanley Bond returns. Chelsea Sexton and Amanda Martin will get the rest. Oneida by 29. Bounce feed inbounds. Rupi gets open, lays it off the glass. Good. Rachel Rupi with four points in the game, and now the full court pressure from Oakdale. The inbounds is to Melanie Phillips. Phillips going to bring it up the left side with that left hand. Looks down court and finds Kelsey Lay laying it off the glass. 
Couldn't get the layup to go. The rebound, Amelia Comer. Comer's going to get it away, and this is going to be Whitney Snow into front court. Leaves back with Morgan Burge. Burge guarded here by Kelsey Lay. A lot of contact. Burge drives in, lobs it down for Comer. Batted away by Kaylee Terry. And it's going to be Shanley Bond with the loose basketball. She gets a lot of the loose ones and now gets it down to Nicalia Lay. Spotting up for the two-point jumper. Good. Nicalia with six points in the game. Onata leads by 19 or by 29 again with two minutes to play in the third quarter, 52-23. And Lindsey Horton has the basketball on the left wing. Looks to Rupi. Batted away by Melanie Phillips out of bounds. Lexi Chitwood will enter the game now for the Lady Indians. She will give Melanie Phillips some rest with 1.54 to play in the third. Morgan Burge will bring it inside front court, gets it to Whitney Snow. Snow guarded here by Lexi. Picks up the dribble, lobs over for Rupi. Rupi drives down, scoops it up there with her left hand and gets the shot to fall. Rachel Rupi now with six points. The inbounds for Oneida to Lexi Chitwood. Chitwood across midcourt, ball tipped away, but right into the hands of Kaylee Terry to the trailing Shanley Bond. The three is no good. The rebound is going to be Lindsey Horton. Horton gives it up here to Snow. Long down court, Rupi spots up for the three. High arching, no good. Short rebound, Kaylee Terry. Now not a two-on-one break. Lay, bounce feed, Lexi Chitwood for the lay and good. And credit Nicolia with a beautiful bounce feed ahead. Nice job running the break for Nicolia. And now it's 54-25, a minute to play in the third quarter, Onada by 29. Horton lobs it up for Rachel Rupi. Rupi driving into the lane, spinning to her left, tied up. Now just going to flick it up there, and it goes. Rupi, six points this quarter, eight on the night. Shanley Bond will work it in bounds. Lexi Chitwood ahead to Kaylee or Kelsey Lay, bounce feed to Kaylee Terry. The layup would not go. That would have been a... Good one for Oneida right there. Now the other way, Rachel Rupi can't control the pass, and Oakdale turns it over. 54-27. Nice job breaking the pressure by Oneida. Couldn't get the layup to go there. Now Lexi's going to bring it across midcourt, spinning. Sees the pressure coming from behind. Finds Kaylee Terry. Terry on the left wing. Skip pass over to Shanley Bond. To the right corner, Nicolia Lay. Lay to Lexi Chitwood, Chitwood bounce feed, Kaylee Terry bounce feed out to Shanley Bond, and now it's going to be Kelsey Lay driving to the baseline, back out to Shanley. Chitwood gets a wide open look at the three, the shot going to be short. Good job by Oneida finding that shot though. 10 seconds to play third quarter, and it's 54-27, Lady Indians doubling the Lady Eagles at this point with a quarter and just 10 seconds remaining. Here in this third quarter, Oneida has put up 14 points, Oakdale 12. So pretty even quarter for the Lady Eagles. Down court, or almost a completely even quarter. Lindsey Horton puts up a three, shot no good, and that's the end of the third. We'll take the break with your score. It's Oneida 54 and Oakdale 27. Roarch Healthmark Pharmacy takes the pain out of paying for your prescription medication. With Roarch Pharmacy's one price prescription drug program, buy top generic prescriptions in quantities from 1 to 400 tablets, all at one price. Designed to combat rising medication costs and to fill the void left by TenCare, Roarch's one price prescription drug program may be your answer. Confused about your TenCare or Medicare coverage changes? Ask Terry or Mary Ann Roarch, the pharmacist at Roarch Healthmark Pharmacy. Down from the hospital in Oneida. Pet care is in child's play. Proper care of your pet requires routine veterinary care. Highland Veterinary Hospital offers complete well and sick pet services. With in-house x-ray and lab facilities, Highland Veterinary Hospital can provide faster diagnosis, leading to quicker treatment and recovery. For larger animals, Highland Veterinary Hospital makes daily farm visits. Grooming available. Appointments recommended. To schedule a visit, call 286-9292. Highland Veterinary Hospital. Elizabeth K. Burris, Veterinarian. Oakdale Lady Eagles 54-27. Don't forget Thursday night, middle school basketball. You're going to have the Birchfield Rams visiting the Fairview Rebels. Then on Friday night, Wartburg comes in here. Murray State's at the University of Tennessee. A lot of basketball to go this weekend, this week, the ending of this week. That's what I'm trying to say. Fourth quarter will start 
with Morgan Pease, Whitney Snow, Shayna Odell, Morgan Burge, and Lindsey Horton, and it's going to be Oneida stealing the basketball away. A bounce feed from Amanda Martin and a lay-in from Nicalia Lay. She's got eight points. Also out there with Martin and Lay, Chelsea Sexton, Kaylee Terry, Lexi Chitwood. 56-27, Oneida by 29, and this is Horton to Corin Pease, and we're going to have a holding foul against Kaylee Terry down in the post against Shayna Odell. That will be the fifth team foul for Kaylee, her third. So now Oakdale will work it in under their basket. 7.30 to play in the game. This is Rupi forcing a shot up there, no good. Rebound is going to be Kaylee Terry handing it off to Nicalia Lay. Lay is going to give it up to Amanda Martin. Martin will bring it across midcourt for the Lady Indians. Sees a seam, driving in, leaves it out right corner, Chelsea Sexton. Sexton going to reset now for the Lady Indians. Sexton spinning, driving in, leaves it off with Martin. Martin going to work down to the baseline, and we have a hand check foul going to be issued against Morgan Burge here. 7.06 to go in the game. Burge picking up her second foul, only the second team foul of the second half for Oakdale. 56-27, Oneida by 29. Bounce feed in for the Lady Indians under their basket to Kaylee Terry. Nicalia Lay into the lane, Amanda Martin. Late whistle, and she's going to be fouled on a shot attempt. The foul will be against Lindsey Horton, her first. And Amanda Martin will go to the free throw line for two tosses. Four points tonight for Martin. This free throw is good, makes it a 30-point game, 57-27. 7.02 to play. Donja Robbins checks into the game now for the Lady Indians. Second toss from Amanda Martin is good as well. Conata by 31. Seven minutes to go. Going to be the opening district game and the opening district win of the season for the Lady Indians. They hope to get many more. Rachel Rupi driving in all the way baseline. Puts the shot up there, no good. Rebound, Shayna Odell. And she has it knocked away from behind, but Amanda Martin committed the foul in doing so. That will be her fourth. And Shayna Odell, who has been held scoreless in this game tonight, will go to the free throw line for two tosses. Her team trails by 31 with 6.50 to play. And Odell stands in for the free throw that's on the way and no good. She'll have one more. Odell, the second free throw. It's on the way and it's good. Onada will get Melanie Phillips into the game for Amanda Martin. Boys action coming up next. The Oakdale Eagles have played pretty well in the early going, especially the last week or so for Coach Mike Barber, they're two and one right now. And here's gonna be a turnover in rear court. And then Donja Robbins is gonna tie it up with Morgan Burge. Oneida will have the possession arrow. But as we were saying, the Eagles doing well. Oneida's boys have been off for a week after getting their first win for Coach Jacob King. They'll try to get their second win for him and, and for themselves as well in their first district contest. They face an improved Oakdale Eagle team. The inbounds for Oneida, Chelsea Sexton. Sexton, long down court, finds Kaylee Terry, who lays it off the glass good. Chelsea with excellent court vision. We saw her in Oliver Springs against Powell with a very nice job. The trap ran at her at midcourt. She found Kaylee for an open layup, and a strong pass here again from Chelsea, and a layup from Kaylee. 31-point lead for Oneida, 32-point lead for Oneida, 60 to 28 is the score, 6-10 to play. Rupi just trying to work her way in, then tries the feed over to Shayna Odell. It's stolen away by Lexi Chitwood, and now Chelsea Sexton has the basketball. Again, driving into front court with her head up, gets it to Lexi Chitwood, who drives the baseline. The layup won't go. The follow by Kaylee Terry won't go. Rebound falls to the floor, and Lexi puts it back up, no good. The rebound, Odell, and she's going to be fouled. I think Donja Robbins is going to pick it up here. With 5.52 to play, that will be for the Lady Indians team foul number seven. So Odell will go to the other end and shoot the front end of one and one. Donja with her first foul. And we'll see Shayna Odell shoot the front end of one and one. 5.52 to play in the game. 60 to 28, Oneida leading. They led by 25 at the half and 
have kept this second half at least that far. The free throw from Odell is no good. And Amelia Comer will check in. Odell will exit. And Onada will bring the basketball in. Oakdale, pressure full length to the court. Onada throws over it to Donja Robbins. Down court, Donja has pressure from behind. Rachel Rupi got a hand on it, and it's going to be a turnover for the Lady Indians. Robbins had the right idea. She was coming down, going to get a layup for Melanie Phillips. But instead, it's going to be Snow into front court. Pass over to the right side, court and Pease. Pease working left. Pass comes over to Lindsey Horton. Horton back to Pease, going to drive baseline. Gets a seal from Comer, puts the shot up, no good. And then the rebound battled around. Going to be saved by Melanie Phillips. And then it goes trailing out of bounds. Touch last by Melanie. For Onada, Shanley Bond returns. Jillian Sexton is going to check in for who? Chelsea Sexton. 5.25 to play, 60-28, to 28, Oneida leading the inbounds for Oakdale. Whitney Snow working left, picks it up, goes to Amelia Comer. Comer, now over to Rupi, her pass batted away by Shanley Bond, loose in rear court, and then we're going to have Jillian Sexton whistled for the foul. That'll be her first, team's eighth, that's going to put Oakdale back at the free throw line for one and one with 5.12 to play. Amelia Comer will go to the free throw line to shoot this front end of one and one. Amelia has not scored in this game yet. Puts the toss up for the Lady Eagles. It's no good. Rebound, Kelsey Lay. Takes the dribble. Now goes over to Lexi Chitwood. Ahead to Jillian Sexton. Sexton back to Lay. Now around to Shanley Bond. She's open for the three. Shot, no good. Rebound tipped up, no good by Lay. And it's going to be core and peace the other way. Inside five minutes to play. Peace. Picks up the dribble, gives to the trailing Snow. Now over to Rachel Rupi. Rupi driving in, leaves it out with Peace. Going to put up the three. It is no good. Backside, the rebound. Comer battling for it, and then she's going to be called for the travel. Nice hustle by Amelia Comer, trying to get over to that, but she just couldn't do so without the turnover. And now Anata will bring it inbounds to Lexi Chitwood. Long down court, Chitwood hits Kelsey Lay. Lay up high off the glass, no good. Chitwood with the follow, good. Nice job by Lexi, four points for her. 62-28, Onada's biggest lead of the game here. 34, and this is Peace with the basketball. Over to Lindsey Horton. Horton working down to Peace. Peace driving into the lane, pulls up for the jumper, no good. Battle for the rebound. As Peace goes back up with it, she's fouled. 4.15 to play, the foul will be against Shanley Bond. That's her second. Peace will shoot two free throws. Corin had six points in that first half, has not scored in the second half. Her team trailing by 34. The free throw good from Peace. Odell returns. Fancy Gibson's back in. Lindsey Horton and Amelia Comer will exit. Donja Robbins and Lexi Chitwood exit. Nicolia Lay and Mackenzie Boshears into the game. Odell with the rebound, lays it off the glass, and that's her first points from the floor. Four minutes to play. Down court, Jillian Sexton finds Mackenzie Boshears. Shot won't go. The follow by Nicolia Lay is no good. Battle for the rebound. It's going to be Corin Pease with it. 62-30. Oneida leading by 32. Pease going to be fouled on a block by Nicolia Lay. Her second. Pease will go to the free throw line. That'll be the 10th team foul on Oneida. Pease will get two free throws. 3.54 to go. Pease will stand in for the first of two. The free throw is up and good. Eight points in the game for her. And she'll have another. Second toss from Peace. Good. Still a 30-point game. Oneida 62, Oakdale 32. Morgan Burge returns. Peace will exit. Oneida will bring it in. Full court pressure here from Oakdale. The inbounds is to Nicolia Lay. Lay down court. Tries to hit Mackenzie Boshears a little bit high. And it'll be a turnover for Oneida. 
Whitney Snow will bring it into front court for the Lady Eagles over to Morgan Burge. Burge now to Odell, top of the key. Not going to take the three. Wants to drive in instead on Kelsey Lay. Turns. The shot is up and good. Nice job by Odell. Getting some late points here. Jillian Sexton fires ahead to Mackenzie Boshears, driving the baseline. Boshears puts the shot up no good. Rebound tipped out. Touch last by Oakdale. Quick timeout for Oneida. We'll take the same. Your score, 324 to play. It's Oneida 62, Oakdale 34. Loss or lack of prescription drug coverage can be a bitter pill to swallow. Mark's Family Pharmacy is helping ease the burden of buying prescription medications with its discount prescription plan. Over 200 popular generic drugs all at one low discount price. Come in today and discuss your options. Mark's Family Pharmacy is more than just a drugstore, offering a variety of over-the-counter medications, health and beauty aids, and home products, including an aisle of dollar items. Mark's Family Pharmacy, Underpass Drive. Call 569-7800. If you're shopping for new furniture and appliances, we invite you to stop by Markham's Furniture and Appliance, Scott County's largest furniture and appliance store. Sit down, lean back, and recline your troubles away in the Berkline Furniture Gallery at Markham's Furniture and Appliance. With over 2,000 square feet of quality crafted motion furniture, Markham's Furniture has something for every decor, style, and comfort. Recliner starting at only $299.95. Rocker recliner with matching sofa with incliner starting at $1199.95. Markham's Furniture and Appliance, 211 Depot Street, Oneida. 62-34, the Lady Indians have been comfortably ahead this entire game, led by 25 at the half and led from the onset of this basketball game. Onada working with the basketball here. Coach West called a timeout. He wanted these younger ladies to work the offense, and so that is what they come out intent to do out of this timeout. Morgan Burge called for a foul. She fouled Shanley Bond there. That's the fourth team foul for Oakdale. 3.13 to play. Oneida going to bring it inbounds. Bond fires it in for Nicolia Lay. 3.10 and ticking. Lay over to Kelsey Lay on the left wing. Takes the dribble. Goes to Shanley Bond. Now over to Nicolia Lay. Now Mackenzie Boshears. Around to Jillian Sexton. Here's Kelsey Lay. Over to Mackenzie Boshears. Gets an open look at the three. The shot won't go. And the rebound is out of bounds. Touch last by Oneida. Got a good look at it. Shot a little bit long. Donja Robbins and Lexi Chitwood will check in for Nicolia Lay and Shanley Bond. And the Lady Indians starters have seen the end of their night. Shanley the last to go. 2.45 to play. Oneida leads 62-34. Shana O'Dell. She's going to launch the three. The shot, no good. Rebound comes off long. Lexi Chitwood chases it down. Lexi looking long down court. And it's going to be Odell intercepting the pass. Now Snow going to lob it down. And Donja Robbins trying to knock it away from Morgan Burge. Donja picks up her second foul with 2.29 to play in the game. Burge will go to the free throw line for two tosses. Morgan with six points in the second half for the Lady Eagles, who trails 62-34. Burge with the free throw, short. But she'll have one more opportunity here. And the second try from Morgan Burge is on the way and no good. Looks, that was short. Looks like she's a little bit tired there. They're pressing and she's been in much of the game. And that one just fell short. Kelsey Lay looking to work it inbounds. Looking ahead to Mackenzie Boshears, overthrows her. Odell tries to save it in bounds. Jillian Sexton gets the loose basketball ahead to Boshears for the lay-in good. <laughs> Mackenzie with the two. And Onada back out by 30 with two minutes remaining. The pass down to Rupi. Rupi lays it off the glass good. Eight of Rupi's 10 came in the second half. Chitwood with the basketball and loses the handle on it. Rupi looks ahead. Morgan Burge scoops it up there. No good. Nice rebound, Julian Sexton. She'll bring it into front court with the pass to Lexi Chitwood. All the way down, Chitwood's shot is no good, and the rebound is going to be Morgan Burge. Oneida by 28, 64, 36. Snow into front court to Burge. Burge now over to Rupi. 
Rupee going to drive in, loses the handle on it. Going to be a jump ball. It will stay with Oakdale. Lady Eagles will get Jessica Justice into the game with a minute 31 to play. Megan Comer, or sorry, Amelia Comer returns. The inbounds is to Rupi. Rupi scoops the shot up there, no good. Gets her own rebound. It's jarred free. Now to the floor. Rupi tries to save it out to Whitney Snow and does so to Justice over to Fancy Gibson. Right wing. Fancy shoots the three. Shot, no good. Rebound Comer back up with it, no good. Rebound Rupi and then a foul. It's going to be against Mackenzie Boshears, her first. Puts Rupi at the free throw line for two tosses. 1-14 remaining. Onata 64, Oakdale 36. Rupi's free throw is short. She'll have one more here. And the second toss from Rupi on the way. This one good. And she will exit. Lindsey Horton will return to the game. 27-point contest, a minute 14 to play. Kelsey Lay into Lexi Chitwood. Now ahead, middle of the court, Jillian Sexton. Sexton into front court. Picks up the dribble, gives to the trailing Kelsey Lay. Now with a minute to play in the game, it's Onata 64. And Oakdale 37. Lady Eagles are going to lose their first one of the season. Onata going to... Break above 500 with a three and two record. Bo Shears over to Kelsey Lay. Lay now to Jillian Sexton. Left corner, Bo Shears. Wants to take it into Robbins. Drives, goes back out, Jillian Sexton. Gets a look at the three, shot no good. Rebound is gonna be Fancy Gibson. 35 seconds to play. Gibson down court for Oakdale to Horton. Horton guns the three, shot no good. Rebound Donja Robbins goes up, brings it down. Lexi Chitwood in transition with 25 seconds remaining. Chitwood with the bounce feed, looking for Kelsey Lay. Nearly threw it away, but there's Mackenzie Boshears to pick it up with 19 seconds to go. Zonja Robbins to Jillian Sexton. 14, 13 seconds. Here's Mackenzie Boshears with 10 seconds remaining. She'll go to Kelsey Lay. Lay over to Lexi Chitwood with six, five seconds. Jillian Sexton with three seconds, two. And the shot going to be blocked out of bounds, though not a basketball with 1.3 seconds remaining. So the Lady Indians just have to bring this in, and they'll be 1-0 in the district. They get it in, Donja Robbins, and that's the end of the game. Oneida wins this one. They cruise through the second half as they take care of the previously undefeated Lady Eagles of Oakdale. We take the break with your score, a final, Oneida 64, Oakdale 37. Farmer's Health Point, how can I help you? Hi, this is not just got re rented by some Yahoo. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. My car is a little busted up, though. No problem. We'll take care of it. How fast can Farmer's Health Point service get your car fixed after an accident? Well, you get the idea. Help Point is free with your policy. In Scone County, see Craig Allen, your Farmer's Insurance agent. A family tradition since 1920, Lay's Onana Furniture Company. More than 80 years ago, Arlie Lay began selling the area's finest furniture, all at a fair price. A generation later, the tradition continues. Lay's Onana Furniture Company sells furniture made by some of the nation's finest companies, including Lazy Boy, Kincaid, Temple, and Benchcraft. From formal to contemporary, Lay's Onana Furniture Company has a collection to suit your lifestyle at a price to fit your budget. A family tradition. Lay's Onana Furniture Company, down on Main Street, Oneida. And O now in the district, improving their record to three and two overall. The Oakdale Lady Eagles fall for the first time this season. They're now 0 and one in the district, five and one overall. This game really never in question. Onada got out to a big lead early, led by 25 at the half, 40 to 15, and cruise on through the second half to get this win. The final Onada 64, Oakdale 37. The scoring first for the Oakdale Lady Eagles, 37 points tonight. Rachel Rupi, she had 11. Nine of those came in the second half. She was one of two from the free throw line. Corinne Peace, nine points tonight. She was three of four from the free throw line. It was six points from Morgan Burge. Five points from Shayna Odell. Did not score in the first half. She was one of three from the line. Four points from, that's wrong, two points from Whitney Snow. 
Uh, three points from Lindsey Horton, all in the first half. Two points from Fancy Gibson, all in the first half. The Lady Eagles shot 20 free throws tonight, connected on 10 of those opportunities. But again, trailing 40 to 15 at the half, they were not in this game for very long at all this evening. For the Oneida Lady Indians, 64 points tonight, and they were led by Brittany Chambers. Six in the first half, six in the second half. Britt getting it, getting it done inside tonight. Shanley Bond, nice job from the outside in that first half when Oneida was pushing away. She had 10 points all in that first half. Eight points each for Nicalia Lay and Kelsey Lay. Kelsey's all came in the first half. Again, when Oneida making, was making that push. Six points from Melanie Phillips tonight. Five points from Chelsea Sexton. Four points from Lexi Chitwood. Three points from Kaylee Terry. And two points from Mackenzie Boshears. The Lady Indians shot 12 free throws tonight and connected on five of those opportunities. So on a night when they win by 27, the Lady Indians with an uncharacteristically poor free throw shooting night, but it did not hurt them in this effort this evening. We take the break with your final score once again, the Oneida Lady Indians 64 and the Oakdale Lady Eagles 37. Pet care is in child's play. Proper care of your pet requires routine veterinary care. Highland Veterinary Hospital offers complete well and sick pet services. With in-house x-ray and lab facilities, Highland Veterinary Hospital can provide faster diagnosis, leading to quicker treatment and recovery. For larger animals, Highland Veterinary Hospital makes daily farm visits. Grooming available. Appointments recommended. To schedule a visit, call 286-9292. Highland Veterinary Hospital. Elizabeth K. Burris, Veterinarian. Since 1966, Danny's Drugs has been serving the people of Scott County. Today, just like days gone by, Danny's Drugs priority is prompt, accurate prescription filling. Danny's Drugs utilizes the ProScript Prescription Filling Station, an automated system that eliminates human error, guaranteeing you get the right drug every time. At Danny's Drugs, every prescription is filled, labeled, and personally checked. Internet, email, and drive through services available. Danny and Joe Cross, pharmacist. Danny's Drugs. Scott County and First Trust and Savings Bank have seen many changes. Back in 1923, when First Trust was incorporated, times were different, life a lot slower. Today, First Trust has grown to keep up with the pace of life, expanding its municipal drive location to better serve its customers, including adding more drive through lanes for faster service. Banking hours to fit your lifestyle. Full service banking at Walmart Supercenters in Jacksboro and Oneida. Loans, commercial and residential. 24-hour banking online. Come to First Trust. You'll like banking with us. Roarch Health Mart Pharmacy takes the pain out of paying for your prescription medication. With Roarch Pharmacy's one price prescription drug program, buy top generic prescriptions in quantities from 1 to 400 tablets, all at one price. Designed to combat rising medication costs and to fill the void left by TenCare, Roarch's one price prescription drug program may be your answer. Confused about your TenCare or Medicare coverage changes? Ask Terry or Marianne Roarch, the pharmacist at Roarch Health Mart Pharmacy, down from the hospital in Oneida. They're just about set to announce the starting lineups, and they'll start with the visiting Oakdale Eagles. Mark Bibers, their coach. Mike Barber, did I say that? Hope I said that right. He's their coach. He's assisted by Nathan Bingham, and the starters tonight will be Isaac Gibson, 
Trey Taliaferro, Casey Perkins, Josh Hilton, and looks like Jordan Williams gets the start. You're going to see Clint Foster, Alex Schumann, Seth Moore, John Mathis, Reed Cannon, Cody Powers as well. Oakdale plays a lot of guys. They're in the road. Red uniforms, white numerals, trimmed in black. And now the starting lineups for the homestanding Oneida Indians in their home white jerseys with Tennessee orange numerals trimmed in gray. And the starters this evening for Coach Jacob King bring a one and one record to the floor. Zach Lambert at the point. The guards are going to be Logan Crowley and Chuck Jefferson down in the post, Alex Abbott and Benji Jacobs. So Nada going to try to get that first district win. They lost to Triple-A William Blunt. They defeated single-A Clark Range in overtime a week ago. Oneida 1-1, one and one, Oakdale 2-1. and one. The tip will be challenged by Josh Helton of Oakdale. He is the go-to player, you would say, for the Eagles. And for Oneida, well, we're not really sure. Two games in, Coach Jacob King knew. Uh, we know that Benji Jacobs in the past in the late going of last year was the go-to guy. Logan Crowley going to try to jump it up with Helton. Crowley's smaller, but the jumps may be better, and he does get the tip back to Jacobs, and now over to Chuck Jeffers. Jeffers running the point. I think I said Lambert at the point. It's Jeffers at the point. Lambert with the bounce feed low. It's going to be Jacobs. Now to Alex Abbott around to Logan Crowley on the right side. Scoreless early going here against Oakdale, and it's going to be Jacobs handing it off to Chuck Jeffers. Onata screening down low, popping out on the wings. Here's going to be Logan Crowley. Back top of the key, Jeffers looks down low and finds Jacobs at a free moment. He lays it off the glass good. Took a dribble and laid it up good. Onata going to pressure Oakdale full court ahead to Casey Perkins. Perkins slows and a bounce feed back to Jordan Williams. Williams picks up the dribble, fires over to Talia Farrell. Overplayed by Lambert, takes a couple of steps to the baseline, goes back out to Gibson, now to Perkins. He'll put up the three. Shot glances the rim, no good. Josh Helton with the follow, no good. Rebound tipped out by Abbott. Talia Farrell gets the loose basketball to Isaac Gibson. He'll gun the three. Air ball. Rebound is going to be Casey Perkins. And now a three from Jordan Williams, and it's good. So three three-pointers on three-point attempts on one trip by Oakdale. It's kind of like the old days. Three to two, the Eagles lead by one. Here is going to be Jacobs spinning, freed from the basketball, pass looking to get it back out to Lambert, and it's knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Isaac Gibson. No, not a basketball, side front court, Chuck Jeffers. Bounce feed in to Benji Jacobs. Jacobs going to hand it off to Zach Lambert, trying to get Jeffers open for a three. From the right wing, he does come free. The three-pointer is up, no good. Rebound, nice seal on the backside, getting the ball. Jacobs drives in, gets Perkins in the air for the shot. Good, and he's found. I think it's good. They didn't signal yet, but I believe it's going to be. Yes, Jacobs with the shot, good, and he's fouled by Casey Perkins. Jacobs with four early here for Onada. The Indians lead four to three, and Benji steps in for a free throw. 6.27 to go first quarter. The toss from Jacobs, good. And Perkins will work it in. Oh, not a full court pressure. The inbounds is to Gibson. Gibson going to bring it up the right side, flicks it ahead to Perkins. Perkins pass to Helton. Hands on it by Lambert, and he bounces it off of Helton. Out of bounds, but it touches Lambert. Oakdale retreating. They think it's Onada basketball, and now one official comes back over and maybe he's going to correct the official on this. He thinks it came back over and hit Zach Lambert. And now, or he didn't. No, he said it was just his incorrect signal. It'll be on out of basketball. The inbounds is to Logan Crowley. Crowley in rear court. Looks like some half-court pressure. Going to get it to Abbott. Long down court. Lambert makes a very nice catch. Driving into the lane with a jump stop. Hanging jumper. Rolls off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound. Gibson going to be spun around by... Logan Crowley now into front court pass to Jordan Williams. Deep from three, Williams knocks it down. Oh, my goodness. And Coach Jacob King wants a timeout. We'll take the same. 5.58 to play in the first quarter. Your score is Oakdale 6, so not a 5. 
If your idea of fun begins where the blacktop ends, then Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki has an all-terrain vehicle or motorcycle for you. With two seats, the Rhino can get you, a friend, and your gear practically anywhere worth going. From the Kawasaki Brute Force to the Yamaha Grizzly, Thompson's has plenty of four-wheel muscle. If you prefer just two wheels, then see Thompson's full line of off-road and motocross bikes. Hit the streets on a custom classic cruiser. Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki, Huntsville. Loss or lack of prescription drug coverage can be a bitter pill to swallow. Mark's Family Pharmacy is helping ease the burden of buying prescription medications with its discount prescription plan. Over 200 popular generic drugs all at one low discount price. Come in today and discuss your options. Mark's Family Pharmacy is more than just a drugstore, offering a variety of over-the-counter medications, health and beauty aids, and home products, including an aisle of dollar items. Mark's Family Pharmacy, Underpass Drive. Call 569-7800. Brad Christensen into the game for the Indians. First sub we've seen for either team. Now with the basketball, Zach Lambert in the front court. Oh, not out of a timeout. If Jordan shopping, Williams has gotten two open threes, and that is something apparently you can't do. He's knocked them both down. Zach Lambert puts the shot up no good. Rebound battle for Lambert. Takes a dribble, back up with it. This time good. And Onada regains the lead. Seven to six, and now Oakdale just about turns it over. Isaac Gibson's there for the save, brings it down court, and he'll spot up for the three. The shot good. Gibson knocks it down. Coach King pretty upset as that was going up. He didn't want that one up either. And here's going to be Lambert at midcourt. Pass goes ahead to Chuck Jeffers. Oakdale leads 8-7. Benji Jacobs down in the post. Spins going to be called for the travel. Played just about three minutes in the first quarter. Oakdale eight, Oneida seven. Gibson knocked down one three-pointer. Jordan Williams with two. Here's Williams making the catch on the right wing. Back out to Perkins. Now Talia Farrow going to launch a long three. They'll give him that one. And it's going to be Jeffers catching the miss. Head up in transition. Chuck slows, gives to the trailing Jacobs, who hits the cutting. Logan Crowley for the shot. No good, but a foul. Going to be called against Josh Helton, his first, team second. And Logan Crowley will step to the free throw line with two tosses in a one-point game. 8-7 Oakdale leads. 4.48 to play in the first quarter. Logan's free throw, good. Tied at eight. Logan Crowley's second free throw, no good. Rebound, tipped, and Perkins has it. Lobs it ahead for Gibson. He makes the catch. Gibson into front court. Slowing on the right wing. Spinning to his left. Goes to Jordan Williams. Williams on the drive. Slowed and traveled. And guess uh, the pressure from Chuck Jeffers coming forward on him caused the turnover. Tied at eight. And it will be Jared Oreck into the game for the Indians. Alex Abbott will exit. Indians get a little smaller. Clint Foster checks into the game for Oakdale. Onada gets the head to Oric. Oric driving, leaves it off. Benji Jacobs takes a dribble to his right, puts the shot up there softly. Good. Jacobs with seven. Onada leads 10 to eight. Gibson over to Foster. Ahead now to Perkins. Perkins back to Gibson into front court. He draws a four man crowd behind the arc, then goes over to Perkins. Perkins puts up the two, and it's good. These Indians are listening to. Coach King on uh, those three-point shots or three-point opportunities from Gibson. They attacked him right there. Jeffers from the right corner gets a look at the three. Shot no good. Battling for the rebound. Jacobs back up with it. Shot short on the rebound. Joel Helton or Josh Helton. Now down court. It's going to be Gibson driving down, and he draws the blocking foul from Benji Jacobs. That for Benji will be his first, team's first. And Isaac Gibson will go to the free throw line in a tie game. 10 to 10. Oakdale going to get their first free throws of the game here. 3.45 to play in the first quarter. The free throw from Gibson, good. Gives him four points in the game. Jordan Williams returns the hot hand from three. Second toss from Gibson. Two-point lead now for the Eagles. No. We have a lane violation by... Jordan Williams, who just checked into the game, and that'll wipe the point off for Oakdale. Indians bring it inbounds. Oakdale with some 
Full court pressure here. Oneida throws over it to Logan Crowley. Into front court, Crowley slows and gives to Chuck Jeffers. Jeffers, top of the key. Stabbed out here by Williams. Spins to his right. And it's going to be called for five seconds. Too much dribbling there. 3.30 to play first quarter. And it will be Oakdale basketball. They lead by one, 11 to 10. The inbounds is to Jordan Williams. Williams going to bring it across midcourt. Pass to Isaac Gibson. He got an open look at the three. Shot no good on the rebound. Chuck Jeffers is fouled by Casey Perkins. That's his second foul, team third. Alex Abbott's going to check back in. And for Oakdale, Reed Cannon will enter the game. Trey Taliaferro comes in as well. Oneida down one, 11 to 10 with the basketball. Logan Crowley fires ahead. Christensen makes the catch down court. He hits Alex Abbott. Shot, nice defense by Jordan Williams. Shot won't go. And the loose basketball is going to be taken by Oakdale in the front court with Isaac Gibson. Three minutes to go, first quarter. Oakdale 11, Oneida 10. Here's Jordan Williams. Pass tipped off Williams' foot. Rolls over to Foster. Now to Taliaferro. Wants to drive the baseline. Tied up there. Tries to get it out to Cannon and throws it away. 11-10 Eagles. 2.51 to play first quarter. Full court pressure now. Oneida in rear court with the bounce feed in to Chuck Jeffers. Guarded here by Foster as he brings it across the midstripe. Chuck now accelerates all the way under for the lay-in. Good. Chuck with the left hand, gets by the defense of Foster and gets the Indians the lead back. Down court, it's gonna be Isaac Gibson driving free throw line, deep penetration, gets it out to Williams. Taliaferro around to Foster, he'll try the three, good. Clint Foster knocks down the three-pointer. That's the fourth three of the first half for Oakdale. They lead by two, 14-12. Oric down court, hits Christensen to Logan Crowley. He'll try the three, glances the rim, no good. Rebound battled for. Gibson with it, harassed by Crowley, spinning out of trouble and into front court. Oakdale, with two minutes to go in the first quarter, has a two-point lead. Jordan Williams out to Foster. Gibson around to Talia Farrow. His pass tipped by Abbott. Loose basketball, Logan Crowley into front court, all the way down, layup short. Rebound, Oric gets to the trailing Christensen. He'll try the three. Shot, no good. Rebound, Crowley tried to save it in, couldn't do it. With 1.48 to play in the first quarter, it's Oakdale 14, Oneida 12. And Lambert will get into the game for the Indians. Jeffers will exit. Alex Human into the game now for Oakdale. 14-12, Eagles lead by two. Human into front court, leaves it over with Isaac Gibson. Gibson. Couple of dribbles, now the pass to Clint Foster. Down to the baseline, Human Touch pass back out to Williams on the left wing, and then his pass going to be kicked into rear court by Logan Crowley. 1.30 to go, first quarter. Oakdale 14, Oneida 12. Clint Foster gets the inbounds to Alex Human, Guarded here by Logan Crowley. Now over to Isaac Gibson. Two-point Oakdale lead. They have the basketball. Williams drives free throw line. Now out to Gibson. Gibson to Foster. His pass tipped out. Touch last by Alex Abbott. Josh Helton will check in for the Oakdale Eagles. His team leads by two, and he will replace Jordan Williams for Coach Mike Barber. With the basketball, Clint Foster wants to drive, goes baseline, loses a handle. And did he throw it out of bounds off of Abbott? was what he intended to do, but apparently he didn't do that. It'll be on night of basketball. The inbounds is to Torrey Slavin. Slavin, bounce feet ahead to Jared Oric to the cutting Christensen, who stops, shoots, shot won't go. Rebound is going to be Alex Schumann the other way. He hits Casey Perkins. Back out to Foster. Now over to Gibson. He's open for the three. Shot no good. Rebound battled for. Perkins back up with it and no good. Rebound Alex Abbott. Abbott clears it away to Zach Lambert. Two-point game down court. Oric tries to get it back to Slavin, and he lost the handle on it on the dribble, and it's going to go over to Oakdale. 34 seconds to play first quarter. Oakdale 14, Oneida 12. 
Inbounds is going to be to Trey Taliaferro. Lobs it up over for Isaac Gibson. Quickly down to Alex Human. Human picks it up. Fires to the lane. Taliaferro back to Human. He's going to launch the three. Shot no good. Backside rebound battled for. Tipped around by Oneida. Christensen has it poked away, but Tory Slavin has it with 13 seconds. Into front court. Tory looks at the bench. 10, 9, 8 seconds. Slavin working left. Fires over to Lambert with four, three seconds, and he's going to be called for the travel. Three seconds remain, first quarter. It'll be Oakdale basketball. They lead by two. The inbounds is to Taliaferro. He will drive to his left, and he's going to be fouled on the floor with .2 seconds remaining. That for Jared will be his first, Jared Oric. Team second. Oakdale will bring it in. It just had to be a tip. Helton didn't get the shot off. That's the end of the first quarter. Close one. We got a good one. Your score is the Oakdale Eagles 14, the Oneida Indians 12. for Oneida with seven of the Indians, 12. To start the second quarter, Benji's in. He got a brief rest at the end of the first. Logan Crowley, Chuck Jeffers, Alex Abbott, and Zach Lambert. For Oakdale, Casey Perkins, Isaac Gibson, Trey Taliaferro, Josh Helton, and Jordan Williams. Williams had two of the Eagles, four threes, and now Helton lobs it out for Williams. Going to try the baseline. Tied up there. Goes back to Perkins. Top of the key. Gibson around to Taliaferro. 14-12. Oakdale in the lead. Helton works the middle. The other three look for, or the other four are looking for open threes. With the basketball, Perkins. Bounce feed over to Taliaferro. He lobs down. Helton turns for the soft shot. No good. Rebound tipped out. Touch last by Jordan Williams. Oakdale will apply pressure full court. 7.20 to go first half. 14-12. Oakdale leading Oneida. Chuck Jeffers looking. Pass ahead to Logan Crowley. He's going to be fouled. Casey Perkins coming over. Commits his third. And Perkins, the junior. That's his third foul. He remains on the floor right now. Oneida down two. They have the basketball. Chuck Jeffers. Bounce feed low to Benji Jacobs. Back out to Jeffers. The three, no good. Rebound Logan Crowley. Going to go back up with it. Blocked from behind. The follow by Abbott, no good. The rebound Lambert tied it. Indians getting the offensive boards. Tying this game at 14 with 6.50 to play in the second quarter. Perkins from the right wing. Looks back to the trailing Jordan Williams. Williams steps right, launches the three, and buried it. Williams' third three-pointer from a recently tied game to a three-point lead again for Oakdale. In front court, Logan Crowley buries the two. Nice job by Logan. He's got three points in the game. 17-16, Oakdale back by one with the basketball. 6.20 to play in the first half. Trey Taliaferro from the left corner. Thought about that three. Goes out instead to Jordan Williams. Too deep, he feels, for the three-pointer this time. He'll give it up to Casey Perkins. Now Tally Farrell quickly jacks the three up there. No good. Rebound Perkins slides in and gets it. Then his bounce feed stolen away. Chuck Jeffers going to attack in the transition. Leaves it back with Lambert. Lambert drives in, goes over to Logan Crowley. Dumps it back down. Lambert takes a dribble. Spinning charge. <laughs> Lambert's going to be called for his first, team's third. 5.55 to go in the first half. Perkins drew that charge, and that was dangerous territory for him because he has three fouls. If the official had not seen it his way, that would have been his fourth. And now the pass ahead to Gibson, and Gibson tips it ahead to Williams. Williams drives for the shot off the glass. Good. Nice job by Oakdale against the pressure. Now Anata gets it into front court. Lambert going to drive in, looks to the trailing Chuck Jeffers. Now over to Logan Crowley, tipped off his hand out of bounds. 
Three-point lead for Oakdale, 19-16, with 5.35 to play in the first half. They get it in to Isaac Gibson. Gibson across midcourt with the basketball. Looks to the right side, Jordan Williams. Now to Clint Foster. Back around to Williams. Now Talia Farrell with the, on the left wing. Back to Gibson. Pushed out from the goal to Jordan Williams. He thought about taking that long three. Didn't do it. Now lobbed over for Gibson. Wants to attack. Gibson all the way under. Scoops the shot up. No good. Rebound Alex Abbott. Over to Zach Lambert. Ahead to Chuck Jeffers. Loose basketball. Chuck battling for it and controls it nicely. Bounce feed Jacobs. Gets his man in the air and as he goes for the shot, no good. Jacobs with a nice ball fake. Got Helton airborne and completely flying out of the picture. And then coming in from behind, Clint Foster commits his first foul. Jacobs will go to the free throw line for two tosses. He's got seven points in the game. Onata trails by three. Toss from Benji, rattles down and back out. No good. He'll have another. 4.55 to play first half. Second toss from Jacobs, good. Eight points in the game for Benji. 19-17 is the score. Oakdale gets Seth Moore into the game. To Jordan Williams in rear court. Now to Talia Faro back at, over to Williams. Williams going to drive it all the way down. Poke from behind. Loose basketball picked up by Chuck Jeffers. Jeffers will bring it all the way down in transition. Lays it off the glass. It tips no good. The follow by Abbott no good. He gets his own rebound back up. No good. Rebound Helton. Helton gets it away to Gibson. No doubt of fighting for the rebounds. Can't get those lay-ins to fall right now. And in front court, Talia Farrell slices through the lane. Leaves it up there, no good. Rebound Abbott ahead to Lambert. Lambert going to attack. Down court, lays it off the glass. Beautiful. Lambert with a nice job as Gibson was trying to set up to take a charge. Lambert moves away. And here's Benji Jacobs knocking the loose basketball out of bounds. 4-11 to go first half, and it's a good one. Timeout Oakdale. We'll tell you the score, Oneida 19, Oakdale 19. A family tradition since 1920, Lay's Onana Furniture Company. More than 80 years ago, Arlie Lay began selling the area's finest furniture, all at a fair price. A generation later, the tradition continues. Lay's Onana Furniture Company sells furniture made by some of the nation's finest companies, including Lazy Boy, Kincaid, Temple, and Benchcraft. From formal to contemporary, Lay's Onana Furniture Company has a collection to suit your lifestyle at a price to fit your budget. A family tradition, Lay's Onana Furniture Company, down on Main Street, Oneida. Through the years, Guy County and First Trust and Savings Bank have seen many changes. Back in 1923, when First Trust was incorporated, times were different, life a lot slower. Today, First Trust has grown to keep up with the pace of life, expanding its municipal drive location to better serve its customers, including adding more drive through lanes for faster service. Banking hours to fit your lifestyle. Full-service banking at Walmart Supercenters in Jacksboro and Oneida. Loans, commercial and residential. 24-hour banking online. Come to First Trust. You'll like banking with us. Oneida High School, 4-11 to go, first half. Oneida and Oakdale locked in a 19-19 game here. And the Eagles will bring it inbounds to Trey Taliaferro out of an Oakdale timeout. Taliaferro traveled with it. Good defense by Logan Crowley, pressure put on him there. Oneida's going to get it back and try to get the lead back here. Indians bring it inbounds to Logan Crowley. Crowley going to drive down all the way to the basket for the lay-in good. Helton came over to kind of play defense, but uh, Crowley gets past him, and then the inbounds for Oakdale is a turnover. Not a good start out of their own timeout here. 3.56 to go in the first half. Christensen's inbounds is fielded or tipped and then stolen by, tipped by Clint Foster, stolen by Seth Moore, and in rear court, it's going to be Brad Christensen hustling back to knock it away. And now we have what from the official? Not sure. 3.52 to go first half. Oakdale down two. They've led much of the first half. They are looking for a three for the lead again. They get it. Isaac Gibson knocks down his second three of the game. And it's Oakdale back up by one, 22-21. Indians ahead to Chuck Jeffers. Jeffers driving in, bounce feed, Benji Jacobs. Shot going to be blocked by Isaac Gibson. 
Gibson going to bring it into front court now for the Eagles. Looks to Foster. Now to Taliaferro. Back to Foster. One point lead for Oakdale. 3.20 to go in the first half. Taliaferro on the left wing. Helton works in the paint or just outside it right now. Clint Foster with the basketball for Oakdale. Fires over to Taliaferro. Now Seth Moore. They work it around, and it's going to be Chuck Jeffers nearly getting the steal. Not, Chuck has played a very good first half defensively here, especially. Not that he's played bad offensively, just his defense has been very good here in this first half. 3.03 to play in the first half. It's Oakdale 22 on out of 21. Gibson into front court for the Eagles. Spinning, looking, passing to Seth Moore. Moore. Over to Clint Foster. Foster into Helton. Helton spinning. Shot. Glances the rim. No good. Rebound falls to the floor. Oneida has four around it. They get it ahead now to Lambert. Oneida down one. Lambert to Logan Crowley. Crowley back out high to Christensen. Now around to Jeffers. Dumping it down to Jacobs. Jacobs wants to take it in on Helton. Little fadeaway shot. No good. Rebound is going to be Clint Foster. Over to Trey Taliaferro. And he'll bring it into front court. Kelly Farrow off to the left wing. And we're going to have a foul from Brad Christensen. Christensen picks up his first, team's fourth. And for Oakdale, Helton and Moore will exit. Jordan Williams returns, as does Reed Cannon. Here's Williams driving down. They leave it out with Gibson. One-point game. Two minutes to play in the first half. 22-21, Oakdale leading. And Gibson loses the basketball. Here is Lambert bringing it the other way. All the way down, and he's going to be fouled by Jordan Williams. His first. He thought he got the clean block. But the official whistles him for the foul, and Lambert's going to go to the free throw line for two shots. His team trails by one. 2.01 to play in the first half. Zach Lambert stands in, looking to tie the game. The toss is on the way, and we're tied. Seven points for Zach. 22-22 the score. Jared Oric will enter in just a moment. If Zach can knock down the free throw, that is, and stop the action, he knocks it down, and Oric will check in and give Crowley a rest. So Oneida up by one. Oakdale with the basketball inside two minutes in the first half. 23-22, Indians over the Eagles right now. Here is Gibson with the basketball, spinning. Picks it up, goes to Taliaferro. Taliaferro going to stop, thought about the two. Instead goes to Gibson. Gibson spinning. Now leaves it out. Taliaferro flicks up the three. Shot no good. Rebound collected by Clint Foster. Did he push off to get it? In the opinion of the baseline official, he did. His second foul, team seventh. Oneida is going to the free throw line to shoot one and one. Indians with a one point lead. And Chuck Jeffers was the man fouled. Jeffers will shoot the front end of one and one. Chuck with two points in the game. Stands in with Oneida leading 23-22. The free throw from Jeffers is on the way and good. He'll have another. Helton returns to the game for Oakdale. Reed Cannon will exit. Two-point lead for Oneida, and Chuck Jeffers will look to try to expand on that with this free throw. And Chuck with the toss. Short. Rebound. Nice box out by Oric. Then he gets it, spots, shot, no good, rebound. Christensen lobs it out front for Lambert. Running jumper, good. Onana gets the offensive board and now has a four-point lead, 26-22, with 1.22 to go in the first half. Into front court, Gibson to Foster. Now over to Alex Human. Helton working down in the post. And what do we have? Down in the post, I think we might have a foul coming up against Cody Duncan. As he was working against Helton, 
Cody is going to be called for his first. Four-point game. The inbounds. They fired out Williams a wide open for the three, and he drained it. Williams has single-handedly kept Oakdale in this one, really. Down court, Christensen to Chuck Jeffers. Bounce feed. Christensen tries to get it over to Cody Duncan. Loose basketball. Duncan chases it down. Back out high to Chuck Jeffers. So not a leads by one. 26-25. And here's Lambert. He got a look at the three. He takes it and buries it. Good job by Zach Lambert. He's had a great first half as well. And it's going to be Gibson into front court. In a 29-25 game, Human on the drive leaves it off with Gibson. Four-point game, Gibson stops. Ball knocked loose. They're going to say Brad Christensen committed the foul. Only the sixth team foul. So Oakdale won't be shooting here. For Brad, that's his second. No one else has more than one. Foster going to bring it in bounds, try to get it to Williams. And Onada tipped it. And Foster was not back established in bounds and touched it. It's a turnover for Oakdale. Big break for the Indians. Alex Abbott going to bring it in bounds now for Oneida with 26 seconds remaining. He brings it in to Chuck Jeffers. 26 seconds remaining first half. Ahead to Benji Jacobs who drives down, stops, shoots, shot rattles. Good. Jacobs with 10 first half points. Oneida by six with 10 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's going to be Shot up from Alex Human, no good. Rebound battled for by Helton. Trying to get ahead to Lambert. It's lost out of bounds. And incidental contact between Zach Lambert and Josh Helton. And Lambert loses it out of bounds. It will be Oakdale basketball with four. Three seconds. They're down by six. Gibson into the lane. The shot, good at the buzzer. Nice move by Gibson. And it's a four-point game. Oakdale led most of the first half, but the Indians have a four-point edge as we take the halftime break. Your score, Oneida 31, Oakdale 27. Since 1966, Danny's Drugs has been serving the people of Scott County. Today, just like days gone by, Danny's Drugs' priority is prompt, accurate prescription filling. Danny's Drugs utilizes the ProScript Prescription Filling Station, an automated system that eliminates human error, guaranteeing you get the right drug every time. At Danny's Drugs, every prescription is filled, labeled, and personally checked. Internet, email, and drive through services available. Danny and Joe Cross, pharmacist. Danny's Drugs. If your idea of fun begins where the blacktop ends, then Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki has an all-terrain vehicle or motorcycle for you. With two seats, the Rhino can get you, a friend, and your gear practically anywhere worth going. From the Kawasaki Brute Force to the Yamaha Grizzly, Thompson's has plenty of four-wheel muscle. If you prefer just two wheels, then see Thompson's full line of off-road and motocross bikes. Hit the streets on a custom classic cruiser. Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki, Huntsville. Eagles, 31-27. Indians trailed by right around a point most of that first half, but were able to have a good closeout of that second quarter and take a six-point lead, but then Isaac Gibson hit a two to make it four at the half, and the scoring quickly for Oakdale in that first half, 27 points. Jordan Williams, 14 of their 27, four three-pointers. Isaac Gibson, nine points of their 27, a pair of three-pointers, and then Clint Foster with three and Casey Perkins with two. The Eagles got to the line two times and hit one of those free throws. For the Oneida Indians, at the half, 31 points. They're led by Zach Lambert, 13 to the 31. He's two of two from the line and a three-pointer. Benji Jacobs, nice start to the evening. Ten points tonight, two for three from the line. Five points from Logan Crowley and three points from Chuck Jefferson. The Indians, nine free throws in that first half, and they knocked down six of them. Earlier tonight, the Oneida Lady Indians faced the undefeated Oakdale Lady Eagles, and they're undefeated no more. Coach Marv West joins us now. Coach West, first of all, congratulations on the win, and uh, thank you for joining us. Only really a half of work tonight for you. You had things firmly in control there in the first half. And of course, I'm kidding with that, but uh, you better be. 40 to 15 was the halftime score, and, and you guys kept it right there, got to play everybody tonight. I don't think uh, you expected this against Oakdale. No, uh, you know. Oakdale's a really good team. They're really fundamental. They do, they, they have a system. Uh, 
they, they run that three out, two in motion. They try to get their big girls involved. They drive well and try to look to kick or, you know, to, to penetrate to score. And, you know, we just we did a good job of getting in passing lanes, did a good job of, of cutting off the drive early, uh, made them take some tough shots, frustrated them a little bit. And, and when they started getting frustrated, we took advantage of that. Uh, you know, that, that's the killer instinct I've kind of been looking for and hadn't seen in a while. And, of course, at halftime, we're up 25, and, and of course, you're happy, but you got to refocus because it's hard to come back out ready to go. And what I was more proud of probably more than anything this game was the third quarter. We scored our first three trips. We executed a set play the first trip, and then, you know, we found Brittany again and, and got another easy look. And, and if you can do that, you're going to put teams away. The first half for Oakdale, they only scored 15 points. They got five shots to go from the field. Uh, Shayna Odell what, was scoreless at the half, and she uh, usually a big factor for Oakdale, and I'm sure a focus for you guys tonight in uh, the first half. She, she finished with five points, but they all came very late. Yeah, they came late. Uh, you know, I was very proud of her post defense. Brittany Chambers and Kaylee Terry played really hard, and uh, did a good job of denying her, did a good job of keeping her off the boards. And, you know, she is a big part of their offense. They've looked for her more this year than they ever have. You know, that's that's a, you know, you got a kid 5'11 or whatever she is, six foot, you need to get her the ball, especially single lady. That's, that's a luxury a lot of teams don't have. We don't have, you know, but we did a good job of defending her. Um, just did the right things there. Did a nice job on Rupi as well. We know she can be dangerous, uh, but only two points for her at the half. She did finish with 11, but uh, nine of those came in the late going as well. Well, what I'm tickled with with, with guarding her is not giving her wide open looks at the three, making her work. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the big thing is if you give any of them wide open looks, they're going to bury it. They're a very good three-point shooting team. You know, you've seen them do it. I've seen them do it. Uh, you know, I went down and watched them play Scott, and that's what got kind of got them on a roll the second quarter was I think she hit a big three on the wing and somebody else busted one. If you give enough luck, they're, they're going to take it, and we did a good job of finding them. Kelsey Lay came in early from the bench for you guys in that first rotation and uh, did a nice job getting eight points. Great, great job. Knocked down some shots. Uh, she's been rebounding well for us. Had a really good Thanksgiving tournament, rebounding well. You know, I'd, I'm, I'm very proud of Kelsey and, and the steps she's taken to get to where she can, you know, she can play. She can be a factor on the court. Because, you know, anytime you can put a kid out there that can shoot a little bit and she's got a little bit of height, you know, you, that's that's such a positive. Uh, big thing, you know, always with with the young kids you bring in is are they going to play defense? Are they going to get after it? Because you don't want to come in and just give up baskets. And Kaylee's been a lot more aggressive and just been a, a spark force off the bench. Her and Nicolia both have really picked us up. They picked us up in the PAL game. We, we came out and we weren't playing well early. They picked us up tonight. I mean, in... And I'll be honest with you, I don't think we played our best ball tonight. I think we probably shot better than we had shot. But I don't think we played our best game, and, and that's that's good for us because we got something to build on. Shanley Vaughn tonight, 10 points in the game. And for Shanley, her 10 points came early, all in the first half. She had three three-pointers, but maybe her most impressive things tonight, I thought, was her rebounding. It seemed like any time... She got her fingertips on the ball. She was the one that was going to bring it in. Well, that's, you know, Shanley led us in rebounds last year, and people were pretty surprised to hear that. But rebounding isn't who can jump and touch the rim or whatever. Rebounding ain't about the tallest person. It's about position. Shanley does a better job than anybody of getting position. And, you know, we had a spurt where we didn't rebound well early, and I, I got a timeout, and we talked a little bit. And then Shanley went on a tear. She had rebound after rebound, and we'd get it out and go. And she, you know, that's something she's done well, and hopefully it rubs off on everybody else. Well, Coach, here in a couple of weeks, we're going to know a lot about the uh, halfway picture in the district for you all at least. you got Wartburg Friday, Coldfield and Oliver Springs next week, and then Sunbright, so you're going to get a look at everybody here in this stretch. Well, it ain't going to be easy. That's, that's the big thing, you know. I, all I've all we fo focused on, and the girls have done a good job, is fo focusing on Oakdale. What do they do? And then tonight, after the game's over, we talk about Wartburg. You know, come out tomorrow. Let's enjoy it tonight. Come out tomorrow ready to focus on Wartburg. And then, you know, we'll worry about Cofield next week. We'll worry about Oliver Springs next week because if you overlook anybody in this district, you're going to get beat. You know, we beat two AAAs. 
Auburn Springs has beat a triple A. I think they've beat, you know, played, beat some double A's. You know, it's it may be better to, to move up in classes this year than to play down because our district's tough, our region's tough. You got Greenback, you got Wartburg's playing really well. I think they said Greenback beat them by three tonight. I mean, you know, that's just we're in a really solid area right now for basketball. Everybody has a lot coming back, so it's just going to be who's the hungriest, who's ready to play night in and night out. All right, Coach, congratulations on the win, and we thank you for joining us, and wish you good luck. We'll see you this Friday night right here. Hope we have a lot of people out in the stands. We'll need them. Coach Dallas Davis will be looking for them. Well, that's a big game for us and a big game for the boys. Of course, their boys have been up at the top of the district the last few years. Coach Lane does a great job, so... You know, I hope everybody comes out because it's going to be, you know, we got a good rivalry going with them in, in girls and boys basketball. All right, Coach, thanks again, and we'll see you on Friday. Appreciate you. The Indians are just about set to get back to action. They have a four-point edge. 31-27 is the score. Lambert led the way in that first half with 13 points for Anata. Benji Jacobs closely behind with 10. Jordan Williams was all Anata could – Handle, he had 14 of Oakdale's 27. So to start the second half, the Oakdale Eagles will send to the floor. Well, I know one person I'd have out there is Jordan Williams. Yes, he's there. Isaac Gibson and his nine points, he's out there. Casey Perkins, he sat a lot of that first half with foul trouble. Josh Helton, who has not scored in this game, you don't think that's going to finish that way. And Trey Taliaferro out there for the Eagles. For the Oneida Indians, they're going to lob it inbounds on the first play to Logan Crowley. Also out there, Alex Abbott, Chuck Jeffers, Zach Lambert, and Benji Jacobs. Oneida by four. Crowley with a three. It's going to be partially blocked, and he grabs the basketball off of the block and tries to make a move to the basket, and they're going to say he was out of bounds. Oneida will pressure Oakdale full court. The inbounds is to Jordan Williams. He's trapped in rear court. Bounce feed back to Taliaferro. Taliaferro. Up to center court, Perkins, now to Gibson. Now around to Tally Farrell, not a giving him the three now, and this time he knocks it down. He couldn't hit one in that first half. The Indians slough off of him here, and he knocks one down to make it a one-point game again. Down court, Logan Crowley has the ball lost, and Casey Perkins comes up with it. Jordan Williams in transition down court, leaves it over with Tally Farrell. 31-30, Oneida leading by one over Oakdale. 7-10 to go, third quarter. Casey Perkins on the left wing. Looks to Trey Taliaferro. Now to Jordan Williams. To Gibson. The guards continue to work with the basketball as Helton works down in the post. Well, not working too hard, trying to get open against Jacobs. Now he does make the catch, drives down, looking for his first points, shot no good. Rebound Jacobs to Jeffers. Down court, Logan Crowley. Slows up and gives to Jeffers. Jacobs now around to Lambert. He attacks a lane that he sees is wide open, and he flicks it up there good. 15 points for Lambert, 33-30, Oneida by three. Helton going to lob it across midcourt to Gibson. Gibson is turned. Down court gives it over to Perkins. Perkins back out to Gibson. Gibson on the drive. Shot hanging. No good. Rebound. Battled for. Helton going to be fouled by. No, he's going to be called for the travel. I think he thought he might get a foul from Lambert on that. He didn't. Timeout Oneida, 6.18 to go third quarter. Your score is the Oneida Indians, 33, and the Oakdale Eagles, 30. Roarch's Health Mart Pharmacy takes the pain out of paying for your prescription medication. With Roarch's Pharmacy's one price prescription drug program, buy top generic prescriptions in quantities from 1 to 400 tablets, all at one price. Designed to combat rising medication costs and to fill the void left by TenCare, Roarch's one price prescription drug program may be your answer. Confused about your TenCare or Medicare coverage changes? Ask Terry or Mary Ann Roark, the pharmacist at Roarch's Health Mart Pharmacy, down from the hospital in Oneida. Pet care is in child's play. Proper care of your pet requires routine veterinary care. Highland Veterinary Hospital offers complete well and sick pet services. With in-house x-ray and lab facilities, Highland Veterinary Hospital can provide faster diagnosis, leading to quicker treatment and recovery. For larger animals, Highland Veterinary Hospital makes daily farm visits. Grooming available. Appointments recommended. To schedule a visit, call 286-9292. Highland Veterinary Hospital. Elizabeth K. Burris, veterinarian. 18 to go, third quarter, 33-30.
the Indians are in the lead, bringing the ball in. They get it to Chuck Jeffers, breaking Oakdale pressure. He stops at the elbow, fires the shot, no good. Battle for the rebound. Alex Abbott saves it in to Benji Jacobs. Jacobs drives to his right, gets a man airborne. Banking shot up there, no good. Rebound tipped by Jacobs, but it goes out of bounds. So it will be Oakdale basketball, and Onada will return the favor of that full court pressure. The inbounds is to Casey Perkins. Perkins with the bounce feed looking for Helton behind him and out of bounds. Helton right now not a factor, not into this one. He's got no points, and Onada leads by three. Jacobs to Chuck Jeffers. Jeffers will bring it across midcourt, picked up by Talia Farrow. Pass goes over to Logan Crowley. Crowley, going to give it to Zach Lambert, guarded here by Jordan Williams. Lambert hands it off to Chuck Jeffers. <coughs> Jeffers spins left, drives into the lane, pass to Jacobs with a little ball fake. He's going to be called for the travel. 5.36 to go in the third. Oneida 33, Oakdale 30. Casey Perkins going to work the ball inbounds for the Eagles. Bounce feed to Gibson. Gibson spins. Wants to bring it up the right side. Now back over to the left side, Jordan Williams. Back to Gibson. Gibson finds Chuck Jeffers waiting for him there and gives it up to Casey Perkins. Perkins with the basketball. It's Talia Farrow, top of the key. Christensen's going to check in for the Indians next opportunity. Bounce feed low, Helton. Bounce feed back to Perkins for the jumper, and it won't go. Rolls off the rim. Nice try. No good. Rebound. Logan Crowley back into front court. Now Logan picks it up, lobbing down, finds Jacobs a spot, pulls him toward the basket, shot no good. Or was that Abbott? Probably. Shot no good. And then on the rebound, it's going to be Gibson. Three minutes gone in the third quarter. Oneida 33, Oakdale 30. Jordan Williams looking for the tie, and he ties it. Jordan Williams knocks down his fifth three of the night. Man, are these guys going to be dangerous in tournament time. <laughs> They could just get on a hot streak and destroy you. 33-33 is the score. Chuck Jeffers drives for the shot. No good. Rebound Jacobs. Back up with it. Short. Rebound Helton. Now Gibson. His pass deflected. Logan Crowley with it. And he's going to be fouled by Isaac Gibson. His first foul. Team's first. 4.26 to play in the third quarter. 33-33 is your score. These two teams look pretty evenly matched. You know, a week ago we went to overtime in the opener for Oneida here. Not out of the realm of possibility tonight. These two teams are tight. Chuck Jeffers working to his right. Bounce feed down to Logan Crowley. Head fakes, drives the baseline, and a blocking foul on Josh Helton. Logan Crowley will go to the free throw line for two tosses as Helton picks up his second foul to no points. Crowley with five points in the game. Team tied at 33 with Oakdale, 4-11 to play third quarter. Toss from Logan, good. Six points for he. And Logan will have a second opportunity coming here. It's on the way and no good. Rebound tipped by Christensen. He kept it alive and Chuck Jeffers chases it down. Hits Logan Crowley. Now to Lambert. It's a one-point game, four minutes to play in the third. Oric drives in, gets a screen, banks it off the glass. Good. They got a screen from the defense by Christensen. Not a backup three. Jordan Williams thought about tying it. Now he crosses over, drives in, loses the handle, and turns it over. 3.50 to go, third quarter. 36-33, Oneida by three. The official having a talk with the scorer's table. And everything has now been cleared up. Oneida basketball, they lead by three, 30, or lead by two, 35-33. That must have been what they cleared up. Lambert down court, driving to his right, spins. Christensen, free throw line, back out Lambert. Going to put up the three, shot won't go. Rebound battle for Jared Ork, nice job. Now trying to maintain possession, passes out. Crowley tips it, then to Chuck Jefferson, and then he lost the handle on it. Good attempt by Chuck. Track like he didn't do that. 
3.20 to play in the third quarter. I'm sure I'll find out if I'm wrong, and in fact, he didn't do that later. His mother might pass that along to me. Pushing foul by Casey Perkins. Fourth foul, Perkins on offense, away from the basketball, picking up his fourth foul. Perhaps he plays a little rough. 3.12 to go in the third quarter. Or perhaps it's the second foul that's always called. Someone is inside his head getting him to play rough. I have to watch the ball. I can't commentate on that. Here's Chuck Jeffers. He'll put up a three from the right wing. It's no good. Inside three minutes to go, third quarter. Oh, not a 35, Oakdale 33. Ahead to Tally Farrell. He thought about shooting for that lead. Instead, he picks up the dribble, hits the cutting Williams, driving through a wild layup, won't go, rebound, kicked out ahead now. Jeffers has him in transition, goes airborne, lays it off the glass, and that was really nice. Chuck Jeffers banks it off the glass, good, Onada by four. Good looking play by Chuck Jeffers with 2.30 to play in the third quarter. 37-33 is your score, and now with the basketball, Casey Perkins. Fires to Cannon. Now to Talia Farrow, who flicks the three up there, no good. Rebound battled for Jordan Williams. Going to be fouled by Jared Orick, his second, team first of the second half. And Jonathan Llewellyn is going to check into the game for the Indians here. He'll see his first action. Clint Foster going to bring it in under the Oakdale basket. And the official will take time. Checking a uniform possible violation, but it's okay. The inbounds, Gibson. Thought about the three. Lou Allen out on him. Instead, he's going to pass to Williams. Drives for the two. Can't get it to go. Rebound. Nice battle by Logan Crowley. Christensen comes up with it. Then he tries to pass it away. Foster gets the steal to Cannon for three. And on the rebound, Jordan Williams flying through is going to foul. Zach Lambert, and that'll be the second foul on Jordan Williams. For Oakdale, that is their fourth team foul. Two minutes to play, third quarter. Logan Crowley into front court, bounce feed down to Jonathan Lou Allen. Lou Allen picks up the dribble and goes to Zach Lambert. 37-33 Oneida, Lou Allen looks to Christensen, leading him to the goal. Shot blocked from behind, but in doing so, Clint Foster fouled him. So Brad Christensen's going to go to the free throw line for two tosses. The halftime score was 37-33. Both teams have scored six points in this second half, in this third quarter. Been a very defensive-oriented third quarter. The free throw from Christensen is good. Josh Helton returns for Oakdale. Reed Cannon will exit. Second toss. From Brad Christensen, his forthcoming, it's on the way, and good. Brad picks up two points. The Indians now lead by six. Isaac Gibson going to bring it into front court, getting as he gets past Oric. Oric's going to be called for the bump. That'll be his third. Team's third. And the inbounds will be to Taliaferro. Looks to Helton in the lane, kicks it out. For the three, the shot, air ball, rebound collected by Oric. Oric lobs it ahead to Crowley, makes the catch. Crowley looks, wants to work it down low, now does with the bounce feed to Christensen. To Lou Allen for the three-pointer. Good. Jonathan Lou Allen and the Indians lead by their biggest margin, 9, 42-33 with a minute 20 to play. I don't think either team has had this type of a lead as Talia Farrell works with the basketball, lobbing it up. Gets it over to Foster. Foster overplayed uh, Lou Allen, but dribbles through the lane. Nothing comes of it. Talia Farrow in, loses the handle. Christensen comes up with it. Brad in transition, driving, tries to bounce feet ahead. He's going to be fouled. Sixth team foul against the Eagles, forthcoming. That will be Trey Talia Farrow's first. With a minute four to play in the third quarter, any more whistles against Oakdale will put Oneida at the free throw line. The Indians have a nine-point lead with a minute four to go in the third. You've got to like your position if you're Coach Jacob King. The inbounds, Christensen. The three, you like it even better now. Good. Christensen knocks down the three-pointer as the Indians get a burst and lead by 12. Oakdale reeling here with 50 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Gibson attacks the baseline. 
Flicks it over to Helton, poked away. Loose basketball taken by Foster. He lobs it over Gibson. A little helter-skelter down there for Oakdale. Gibson, shot no good. Rebound, Lou Allen over his back was Clint Foster and the fourth foul for him. Out of control. That's what the Eagles were just then. And now Oneida, as I mentioned, is going to shoot free throws off of this foul. Jonathan Llewellyn stands in to shoot one and one. His team leads by 12. It was 37-33, just seemed like just a few moments ago, and Oneida has gone on now a 9-0 run. Free throw, good. Trying to make it a 10-0 run here in the late going of the third. The toss from Lou Allen. Good. Indians, 10-0 run. 47-33. Oneida with 35 seconds to play in the third, and the Eagles turn it over. Many times you'll see a coach take a timeout as a situation like this develops. Some coaches choose not to. Coach Barber chooses not to. The Indians will push ahead inside 30 seconds in the third. Crowley hits Lou Allen, who drives the baseline. Hanging jumper, good. Jonathan Lou Allen has come off the bench, sparked the Indians. He's got seven points in the game. Oneida leads now by 16. Down court, Humans. Two-pointer is good. Tough shot. Nice one by Alex Human. Oneida will bring it in to Lambert with eight. Seven, six seconds ahead to Oric. Oric drives with four seconds, puts up the soft jumper. Good. And that will be the end of the third quarter. Jared Oric with the exclamation point, and the Indians with a flurry at the end of three. A 16 point lead as we take the break. Your score Oneida 51, Oakdale 35. Help point, how can I help you? Hi, this is not just got re rendered by some Yahoo. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. My car is a little busted up, though. No problem. We'll take care of it. How fast can Farmers Help Point service get your car fixed after an accident? Well, you get the idea. Help Point is free with your policy. In Scon County, see Craig Allen, your Farmers Insurance agent. A family tradition since 1920, Lay's Onana Furniture Company. More than 80 years ago, Arlie Lay began selling the area's finest furniture, all at a fair price. A generation later, the tradition continues. Lay's Onana Furniture Company sells furniture made by some of the nation's finest companies, including Lazy Boy, Kincaid, Temple, and Benchcraft. From formal to contemporary, Lay's Onana Furniture Company has a collection to suit your lifestyle at a price to fit your budget. A family tradition. Lay's Onana Furniture Company, down on Main Street, Oneida. Here by Lou Allen, picks up the dribble. Looking for help, what do we have? Timeout, Oakdale, we'll take the same. 7-17 to play, your score on night of 53, Oakdale 35. Hello, Farmer's Help Point, how can I help you? Hi, this is not just got re rendered by some Yahoo. Are you okay? Well, I'm fine. My car is a little busted up, though. No problem. We'll take care of it. How fast can Farmers Help Point service get your car fixed after an accident? Well, you get the idea. Help Point is free with your policy. In Scon County, see Craig Allen, your Farmers Insurance agent. A family tradition since 1920. Lay's Onana Furniture Company. More than 80 years ago, Arlie Lay began selling the area's finest furniture, all at a fair price. A generation later, the tradition continues. Lay's Onana Furniture Company sells furniture made by some of the nation's finest companies, including Lazy Boy, Kincaid, Temple, and Benchcraft. From formal to contemporary, Lay's Onana Furniture Company has a collection to suit your lifestyle at a price to fit your budget. A family tradition. Lay's Onana Furniture Company, down on Main Street, Oneida. Out of a timeout, they have Casey Perkins, Trey Taliaferro, Josh Helton, Isaac Gibson, and Jordan Williams out there, their original starting five. For Oneida, Zach Lambert, Logan Crowley, Jonathan Allen. Here's a three from Jordan Williams. Good. Benji Jacobs and Chuck Jeffers. Told you, Oakdale can carve into it quickly with the shooters that they have. Chuck Jeffers into front court. Doubled here, bounce feet ahead. Lambert drives the baseline, alters, shot no good. A follow by Jacobs, blocked away. Loose basketball, Taliaferro. 
15 point game. And here's Logan Crowley picking Taliaferro's pocket down court. Goes with the drive to the bucket and he's gonna be fouled by Jordan Williams, his third. Logan Crowley thieving. And he'll have two free throws coming up here. 53-38 the score, 6.38 to play. Crowley for the toss, long. He'll have another opportunity here. Brad Christensen checks in for Jonathan Luala. Nice job by Jonathan coming in and providing a spark for the Indians. Second toss from Crowley, no good. Rebound battled for and lost out of bounds off of Oakdale. So the Indians will bring it in under their basket. 6.36 to play. Zach Lambert will do the honors. Looking for Chuck Jeffers off a screen. The three, the shot is no good, but he was fouled. And that's how Casey Perkins will end his evening. Clearly a foul as he raked the wrist of Chuck Jeffers. And Perkins, who just has had trouble getting into the flow of this game, won't have to worry about it now. Five fouls, and he's out, two points. Chuck Jeffers will stand to the free throw line and shoot three tosses. 6.34 to play, 53-38 the score. Oakdale will replace Perkins with Alex Schumann. Biggest lead for the Indians was 18. Chuck Jeffers will have three free throw opportunities here. If he hit them all, it would balloon back out to 18. Toss from Chuck, good. Gives him six points in the game. Chuck taking his time, 16 point lead. The second of three is on the way and good. Seven points now for Jeffers in the game. And he'll have one remaining. Chuck's free throw is on the way. And this one's short. Rebound, gonna be taken by Jordan Williams. 17 point game, Williams racing down court. Gives it to Taliaferro, he's gonna drive the baseline. Kinda wildly scoops it up there, no good, but the follow by Helton and gets his first points of the night. And a timeout by Oakdale. We'll take the same, 6.22 to play your score. Oh, not a 55, Oakdale 40. Furniture and appliances, we invite you to stop by Markham's Furniture and Appliance, Scott County's largest furniture and appliance store. Sit down, lean back, and recline your troubles away in the Berkline Furniture Gallery at Markham's Furniture and Appliance. With over 2,000 square feet of quality crafted motion furniture, Markham's Furniture has something for every decor, style, and comfort. Recliner starting at only $299.95. Rocker recliner with matching sofa with incliner starting at $1199.95. Markham's Furniture and Appliance, 211 Depot Street, Oneida. Farmer's Hell Point, how can I help you? We've had a fire in our home. They're on their way. Farmer's Help Point service starts getting things back to normal the moment you call. And it's free with your policy. In Scott County, see Craig Allen, your farmer's insurance agent. 622 remaining 55 to 40 the Indians looking to sweep this one tonight the Lady Indians big winners earlier over Oakdale 64 37 was the final in that one this was a very tight game until the closing moments of the third quarter and Onada jumped out to a lead but still plenty of time for Oakdale with their long distance shooting as the Indians lead by 15 55-40. Christensen gets it inbounds to Jacobs ahead to Chuck Jeffers. Jeffers across midcourt driving down and he's going to be called for the travel. Felt there was some contact from behind but they felt it wasn't enough to warrant the falling and here's Tally Farrell with a three. The shot no good. Long rebound. Christensen comes away with it. Down court he's going to get it to Lambert. Lambert Shot up no good, rebound is going to be taken now by Oakdale. Alex Schumann's gonna take it all the way to the other end and he's fouled on the reach in by Chuck Jeffers. First 
foul for Chuck. With 5.56 to play, 55-40. Onada by 15. At the free throw line, Alex Human. He'll shoot two. The first one won't go. He'll have another. Second toss from Human. Good. Nothing but net that round. Onada will bring it in. Full court pressure from the Eagles. Christensen ahead to Lambert. Onada with a three on two. Lambert ahead to Crowley. Gets tied up down low. Puts the shot up anyway. No good. Rebound tipped around. It's going to be Jordan Williams out of there with it. Now Oakdale in transition. They hit Human out to the right corner. Taliaferro for three. No good. Rebound is going to be Benji Jacobs. Jacobs over to Chuck Jeffers. Five and a half to play. Onada 55. Oakdale 41, a 14-point game. Lambert gets the baseline, drives, leaves it out with Logan Crowley, and Onada's going to back it up. And then a foul. Going to be called against Alex Human, his first. And Onada will be shooting two free throws here. Oakdale's 10th team foul. Logan Crowley. He is two out of six from the line. Logan with six points in the game. Onada leading by 14, 5.22 to play. Logan's free throw is good. And he'll have another. Looking to climb out to eight points if he can hit this one. Onada with a 15-point edge. Toss, rattles, won't go. Rebound is going to be Clint Foster. Lobs it over for Isaac Gibson. Now into front court. Gibson picked up by Chuck Jeffers. Starts left. Turns. Deals back out high to Alex Human. Top of the key guarded here by Jacobs. Loses the ball. Off Jacobs' knee. But Foster comes up with it to Gibson. Driving in to his left. Spinning back right. Shot no good. Gets his own rebound. Back up with it. This time good. Isaac Gibson. First points of the second half. He had nine in the first half. And it's a 13-point game. Onada in transition. They get it to Chuck Jeffers. Jeffers back over to Brad Christensen and now Zach Lambert. Lambert's going to be fouled by Trey Taliaferro, his second. Lambert will go to the free throw line for two tosses. Zach tonight with 17 points in this final 446. Could take some time. And Oneida is going to take a timeout to discuss it. Timeout Indians, 446 to play your score. Oneida 56, Oakdale 43. A family tradition since 1920. Lay's Onana Furniture Company. More than 80 years ago, Arlie Lay began selling the area's finest furniture, all at a fair price. A generation later, the tradition continues. Lay's Onana Furniture Company sells furniture made by some of the nation's finest companies, including Lazy Boy, Kincaid, Temple, and Benchcraft. From formal to contemporary, Lay's Onana Furniture Company has a collection to suit your lifestyle at a price to fit your budget. A family tradition. Lay's Onana Furniture Company, down on Main Street, Oneida. Through the years, Guy County and First Trust and Savings Bank have seen many changes. Back in 1923, when First Trust was incorporated, times were different, life a lot slower. Today, First Trust has grown to keep up with the pace of life, expanding its municipal drive location to better serve its customers, including adding more drive through lanes for faster service. Banking hours to fit your lifestyle. Full-service banking at Walmart Supercenters in Jacksboro and Oneida. Loans, commercial and residential. 24-hour banking online. Come to First Trust. You'll like banking with us. Four minutes and 46 seconds to play in this one. 56-43. The Oneida Indians have a 13-point edge. Out of an Oneida timeout, the Indians will be at the free throw line with Zach Lambert set to shoot two. Oneida led by as much as 18. They trailed most of the first half by around one. But they had a strong finish to the third quarter. Lambert with the first of two. Onada's in the double bonus. The free throw won't go. He'll have another. Second toss from Zach. Rattles won't go. And on the rebound, it's lost out touch last. I think they're going to say by Chuck Jeffers. 4.45 to play. Talia Farrell will bring it up court for the Eagles. And his pass is tipped out, touch last by Lambert. It's a 13 point lead for Oneida. Odell trying to chip away at it. Human lobbing it inbounds for no one in particular. The loose basketball and Clint Foster comes up with it. 
Gets it to Gibson. Gibson works right. Gets open for the three. Good. And a timeout. Or what? Is it a timeout? No. No, there was a push at the end of it. The three is good. The foul is against Alex Schumann pushing. So we'll walk to the other end. Onada will shoot two free throws. He pushed Benji Jacobs. Well, Onada's going to have their chance from the line, but right through this stretch here in the fourth quarter, the free throws have not been falling. Benji Jacobs at the line. It's a 10-point game. The toss, no good. Jacobs will have another shot. Odell has cut what was an 18-point game down to 10. The free throw from Jacobs is good. Gives him 11 points in the game. 4.32 to play. Odell going to bring it in to Alex Human. Human into front court. Looks over to Clint Foster. Foster down to Gibson. Gibson driving baseline, tied up, leaves it out with Clint Foster. Now back to Gibson. Gibson trying to find space to drive in, leaves it out. Talia Farrow with a three, and it's an air ball, and it's going to go over to Oneida. 4-12 to play, 57-46 Indians. Christensen fires it in. Lambert, ahead he goes to Logan Crowley. Crowley has a baseline to attack. Instead, he's going to try to pass it out to Lambert. It's knocked out of bounds, touched last by Isaac Gibson. Seth Moore was going to check into the game, but the official says he got up to the table too late. Oh, Nida will bring it inside front court. And Chuck Jeffers will bring it in to Christensen. Christensen over to Logan Crowley. Four minutes to go. Nida 57, Oakdale 46. Indians lead Oakdale by 11 and work with the basketball here. Jared Oreck to Zach Lambert. Lambert driving down, banks the shot off the glass, good. His man, Human, overplayed him, and Lambert attacks the basket and banks it in. It's a 13-point game. Down court, Gibson driving all the way under, poked away by Chuck Jeffers, and out of bounds. 3.38 to play, Oakdale will bring it in under their basket. Clint Foster. Looking, fires in for Gibson. Gibson working to his right. He's fouled on the floor. It's going to be the fourth team foul on Onada. Chuck Jeffers with the hold. His second. Team fourth. Inbounds to Alex Schumann. Now out to Isaac Gibson. Gibson working left. Dumps it off with Talia Farrow, who drives through, scoops the shot up, no good. Rebound Foster, loses it out of bounds. They're going to say Oneida touched it last. 3.22 to go. Jordan Williams returns to the game. Trey Talia Farrow exits. Oakdale will bring it in under their basket. They fire it in. Jordan Williams makes the catch, and then he takes steps. Turnover for the Eagles. Timeout, Oakdale. 321 to go. Your score, Oneida 59, Oakdale 46. Since 1966, Danny's Drugs has been serving the people of Scott County. Today, just like days gone by, Danny's Drugs' priority is prompt, accurate prescription filling. Danny's Drugs utilizes the ProScript Prescription Filling Station, an automated system that eliminates human error, guaranteeing you get the right drug every time. At Danny's Drugs, every prescription is filled, labeled, and personally checked. Internet, email, and drive through services available. Danny and Joe Cross, pharmacist. Danny's Drugs. If your idea of fun begins where the blacktop ends, then Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki has an all-terrain vehicle or motorcycle for you. With two seats, the Rhino can get you, a friend, and your gear practically anywhere worth going. From the Kawasaki Brute Force to the Yamaha Grizzly, Thompson's has plenty of four-wheel muscle. If you prefer just two wheels, then see Thompson's full line of off-road and motocross bikes. Hit the streets on a custom classic cruiser. Thompson's Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki, Huntsville. 
right here at Oneida High School. Wartburg Lady Bulldogs and the Wartburg Bulldogs will come in looking to grab district wins and the Oneida Indians and Lady Indians will be looking to do the same. Possibly both teams with a 1-0 district record for us. Coming into that game Friday, Oneida's boys still yet to finish the deal. They lead by 13 with 3.15 to play, so they're in good position. But the Eagles aren't quitting right now. Lambert brings it down court, stops, banks the shot up, no good. Rebound tipped out and kept alive by Oakdale, but Oneida's Logan Crowley has it. Three minutes to go. Oneida 59, Oakdale 46. Lambert goes to Benji Jacobs, top of the key. Oneida working patiently around the horn with the basketball here. Jeffers to Logan Crowley. Crowley sees the cutter Lambert go through. Now he goes to Jacobs, bounce feed low, they get the layup. Alex Abbott lays it in good. That's what Coach King wanted. Down court, Jordan Williams wide open for three. That's not what Coach King wanted, but Jordan Williams finally missed one, and the rebound is going to be controlled by the Indians, and Chuck Jeffers will bring it across midcourt. 61-46, 2.25 to play. Jeffers, pass comes over to Zach Lambert. Lambert to Alex Abbott. Now Chuck Jeffers down to Jacobs, takes a dribble, gets down closer, shot won't go, rebound is going to be tipped around and collected by Alex Human. Human into front court, loses the basketball, but Foster comes up with it to Gibson. Gibson back over to Human. Two minutes to play. Oneida 61, Oakdale 46. The first district win for Coach Jacob King is close to happening here. It's going to be Human driving through the lane. Shot is up and good. Tough shot by Alex Human, and he gets it to fall. He's got five points in the game. 1.45 to go, and here is Clint Foster fouling out of the game with the reach-in foul. That'll be his fifth. He'll foul out with three points. Chuck Jeffers will walk to the other end and shoot two free throws. Chuck with seven points in the game. For Oakdale, Trey Taliaferro will come in. It's a 13-point game, 61-48. Chuck Jeffers, the free throw, good. And for the Eagles, John Mathis gets his first playing time. And one of the Indians has to exit because the shirt was untucked. No tolerance from the official for that. He immediately sent him off the court. Second toss from Jeffers, good. Chuck with nine points in the game. Minute 40 to play on out of by 15. Jordan Williams, pass, tipped high. Mathis nearly lost it out of bounds and then it does go out of bounds. Minute 35 to play. Oneida by 15, 63-48. The end of the third quarter, the burst there, the difference in this one. Abbott's going to bring it in. Oric looks ahead, a run out for Chuck Jeffers all the way down. He's going to be fouled by Trey Taliaferro. Jeffers going to go back to the free throw line. Oneida fans got to like to see him there. Chuck does a nice job from the line. 15-point lead with a minute 31 to play, and Chuck Jeffers shooting free throws. That's not a bad place to be. The toss is on the way from Jeffers. Good. He'll have another one. Sixty-four, forty-eight. Oneida by 16. Their biggest lead was 18. This toss is on the way, no good. Rebound tipped, Jordan Williams has it. And now he'll get it over to Alex Human. Williams, pass to Gibson, stolen away, Chuck Jeffers. All the way to the other end, Jeffers lays it off the glass, good. Quickly the other way, Oakdale, and that's Chuck Jeffers at the other end. He's everywhere. Poking the ball away, 66-48. Oneida matching their biggest lead of the game. 109 to play. The inbounds tipped by Abbott. Jordan Williams chasing it down, saves it in to who? Jared Ort. 
Oric down court, gives it to the trailing Chuck Jeffers. One minute, Oneida 66, Oakdale 48, and the Indians gonna get this win as Jeffers sees the lane, drives for the left, won't go, rebound. Alex Abbott flies out with the pass to Jordan Williams. Williams from behind, Jeffers knocks it free, Williams gets it back to Gibson. He'll quickly put the three up, no good. Rebound, Benji Jacobs. Now over to Chuck Jeffers, 39 seconds remain. Jeffers in rear court, spinning across to Zach Lambert with 30 seconds, Lambert drives all the way under. Lambert finds a layup for himself. 21 points for Zach, and Oneida with their biggest lead of the game, 20. Down court, it's gonna be Talia Farrell for a three, no good. Rebound tipped by Oric, taken by Abbott. Oneida by 20, Chuck Jeffers with the basketball in rear court, bounce feed, looking to get it over to Zach Lambert, and it's turned over. 8.7 seconds remaining. Jacob King's about to up his coaching record to two and one, and he's gonna win his first ever district game. Here is Gibson driving for the two. Shot good, and that should just about do it in this one. As the clock expires, the Indians take the win by 18. Your final, as we take the break, the Oneida Indians 68 and the Oakdale Eagles 50. Roarch Healthmart Pharmacy takes the pain out of paying for your prescription medication. With Roarch Pharmacy's one price prescription drug program, buy top generic prescriptions in quantities from 1 to 400 tablets, all at one price. Designed to combat rising medication costs and to fill the void left by TenCare, Roarch's one price prescription drug program may be your answer. Confused about your TenCare or Medicare coverage changes? Ask Terry or Mary Ann Roarch, the pharmacist at Roarch Healthmart Pharmacy, down from the hospital in Oneida. Pet care is in child's play. Proper care of your pet requires routine veterinary care. Highland Veterinary Hospital offers complete well and sick pet services. With in-house x-ray and lab facilities, Highland Veterinary Hospital can provide faster diagnosis, leading to quicker treatment and recovery. For larger animals, Highland Veterinary Hospital makes daily farm visits. Grooming available. Appointments recommended. To schedule a visit, call 286-9292. Highland Veterinary Hospital. Elizabeth K. Burris, veterinarian. The final in this one at halftime, Oneida had a four point edge. It stayed that way through most of the fourth or third quarter. And then, with about three minutes to go in the third, the Indians go on a burst on a run, get out to an 18 point lead. Oakdale would cut that back down to 10 in the second in the fourth quarter, but couldn't get it no closer and wind up losing this game by 18 68 50. The final, the scoring first for the Oakdale Eagles, Isaac Gibson. I'm sorry, Jordan Williams leads the way with 20 points. He had six three pointers in the game. 16 points from Isaac Gibson, three points or five points from Alex Schumann, three points each for Clint Foster and Trey Taliaferro, two points each, Casey Perkins and Josh Helton. The Eagles shot four free throws and hit two of them. For the Oneida Indians tonight, they were led by Zach Lambert, 21 points for Zach, 13 in the first half, eight in the second half, two of four from the line. It was 12 points from Chuck Jeffers, six of nine free throw shooting tonight. Nice contribution from Chuck there. Benji Jacobs, 10 of his 11, came in the first half. It was seven points from Logan Crowley, seven points from Jonathan Llewellyn, sparking off the bench, five points from Brad Christensen, four from Jared Oric, and two from Alex Abbott. The Indians got to the free throw line 30 times tonight, hit 18 of those, and we welcome in now Coach Jacob King. Coach King, your first district win, your first winning streak. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations on it all. Thank you. Uh, you know, halftime is a close ball game. Uh, the Williams kid from Oakdale, he lit it up in the first half. You know, we stop him from hitting them four threes. Granted, we won't stop it every time, but he has 12 points right there, and we's up four. You know, if we played defend it well, he may hit two. We got a pretty good lead at halftime. But when I went in there at halftime, I talked to the guys about playing better defensively, especially on him. We shut him down and putting the nail in the coffin. And we kindly done that at, and starting in the third quarter. Uh, Jonathan Lou Allen come off the bench, hit a big three, then took, drove it twice to the baseline and made it. Brad hit a big shot in the corner there in the third. You know, we played team ball the way I've been trying to practice for the last two or three weeks in that second half, and uh, we're showing signs of getting better every game. Coach, that was just a, a, probably the last three minutes of that third quarter where you pulled away from the Eagles. They made a charge late, yep. uh, but you were able to turn them back. The Indians uh, playing strong. I mean, pretty pretty happy probably with most of this game, aren't you? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I mean, the first half, I wasn't as happy with our defense as I was in the second half. Uh, our offensive execution, 
Uh, Could have been better. It's going to get better. You know, I called a timeout there late in the fourth quarter and ran my primary offense, and we got a wide open layup right there. And, you know, I want to be able to do that more in the middle of the game, but, you know, it's nice when you can call a timeout and tell them what to do, and they do it right. And I'm just – I'm real pleased with their guys. I've, I've been down the last couple of days. Their last two practices have not been that great, but they turned it on when the lines come on, and, that's, you know, that's all that matters really. Coach, uh, you have one of the uh, – very formidable foes in the district coming in. That's your next game. Friday night, you're going to have uh, the Wartburg Bulldogs. Coach Joe Lane always brings a good team in for that. Oh, yeah. he uh, He's probably the best coach in this district right now. Uh, we're going to come and play them hard. I know I know that they got the Nelson kid back and um, one of the uh, Shannon boys, the tall kid back. We're just going to come and play hard. We'll battle with them. We'll be in the game. We'll have a chance to win at the end of the game. I'm going to go down tomorrow and trade films with him. I've not seen him play. He's not seen us play this year. But, you know, we're going to come to battle Friday night. And uh, I think, you know, these two wins give our guys confidence that we need going into this game. If we went in with uh, with an L, I wouldn't feel as comfortable. But now that we got us two wins in a row, we found a, we played last week. We found a way to win. We was down tonight. We finished the game like we should have. So we're leading up to Watberg on a, on a pretty good streak right now. Was it a long week? I know the girls had a couple games in between. Y'all had a long time since playing last. Well, we, we come in Wednesday and just had a shooting practice. We shot the whole day. I let them off Thursday. We come back in Friday. Uh, you know, I probably shouldn't have practiced so early in the morning. I, I felt like we didn't get much done. Uh, we took off Saturday and Sunday. I let them have the weekend. We come back in yesterday. Had a decent practice. Worked on what we needed to work on tonight to win the ball game. Uh, we executed and got the job done. All right, the Coach. Done. Congratulations Thank on the you. win. Thank we'll you. see you Friday night. Good luck uh, against the Dogs. Your finals once again this evening. The Oneida Lady Indians up their record to 3-2. and two. They're 1-0 in the district as they defeat previously undefeated Oakdale. 64-37 the final in that one. For Coach Weston's Lady Indians, next up is the Wartburg Lady Bulldogs Friday night right here on the home court. And then the Oneida Indians get their first district win for Coach King, second win overall, 2-1 and one now for the Indians, 1-0 in the district as they defeat the Oakdale Eagles, 68-50 the final in that one. Our next broadcast of Oneida basketball will, will be Friday when the Wartburg Bulldogs come to town to face the Oneida Indians and Lady Indians. We want to thank our sponsors of basketball on WBNC-FM and OCV Cable Channel 4, Hometown Furniture, Roark's Pharmacy, Miller & Son Concrete and Paving, El Rey Restaurante Mexicano, B&B Roofing and Metals, McDonald's of Oneida, Ayers Auction and Realty, and Mark's Family Pharmacy. We appreciate their sponsorship of basketball here on WBNTF. FM and OCV Cable Channel 4. For all those involved in the broadcast, we want to thank Mike King for a great job back on the board. We want to thank Adam Hill for the camera work this evening. This is Tim Smith saying thanks for joining us. You've been listening to and watching Oneida Basketball on WBNT-FM and OCV Cable Channel 4. Loss or lack of prescription drug coverage can be a bitter pill to swallow. Mark's Family Pharmacy is helping ease the burden of buying prescription medications with its discount prescription plan. Over 200 popular generic drugs all at one low discount price. Come in today and discuss your options. Mark's Family Pharmacy is more than just a drugstore, offering a variety of over-the-counter medications, health and beauty aids, and home products, including an aisle of dollar items. Mark's Family Pharmacy, Underpass Drive. Call 569-7800. If you're shopping for new furniture and appliances, we invite you to stop by Markham's Furniture and Appliance, Scott County's largest furniture and appliance store. Sit down, lean back, and recline your troubles away in the Berkline Furniture Gallery at Markham's Furniture and Appliance. With over 2,000 square feet of quality crafted motion furniture, Markham's Furniture has something for every decor, style, and comfort. Recliner starting at only $299.95. Rocker recliner with matching sofa with incliner starting at $1199.95. Markham's Furniture and Appliance, 211 Depot Street, Oneida.